TRMZ Love, TRMZ Love, TRMZ Love. Right, hello. Hi guys, hope you're all good. Thank you for coming in. Uh, I'm not sure if we're getting the Takistan server or not. Just as I started the stream, I joined the queue. I've gone down four places so far, so we'll give it until the music's finished. If I'm about five or six, we'll probably wait. If I'm not, we'll probably do something else. We'll see how we go. <laughs> hope you're all good. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all well. Uh, two streams in one day, not quite. Not quite. Uh, hello, everybody. Hopefully we should be okay. Recordings of a madman, thank you for the 10 months. Bob, Bob570, thank you for the resub, Bob, maybe, but thank you. Uh, hi, Mr. Jacob Leg. hello, Mrs. Diamond, Age, New, Stolly, Chad, Is, uh, hello, Feru, Zumar, Dan, Martin. Play Intense, I'm not overly enamored with the, uh, the medical system on some of the harder servers. They're harder, and that's great if you want that, but the game for me is more about what happens when you meet other people and situational. PVE, not forced, if that makes sense, you know. Who you get you get injured in a military base, watch? and it's a struggle, you know. What are you eating? How big is your peen? Very small. Uh, <laughs> my favourite watch, uh, I don't know, the one I've got five of, a Grandmaster Chime. <laughs> uh, everyone says intense. I say Banov. Most people don't say intense, to be fair. Uh, Banov is not likely to be a goer. How old am I? Uh, I'm off the market. <laughs> I'm 38, approximately. Uh, what was the final verdict on Grey Zone? I haven't got a final verdict yet, but I don't know if I'm going to play it today or not. I may do, I may not. Might play it later. I like, I really liked elements of it. I actually played one mission off stream last night, which is a positive, positive sign, I would say. Uh, I quite liked it. I liked some of it anyway, but I, I think there is improvements to be made, and it's very, very early. Definitely, wait hard. Much love from the US. Uh, there's things I liked. I liked the idea, but it was all in the same town. You know, it didn't. You have to do missions to rank up, and you can only do the missions in the order they give them to you. And so I have to keep going back to the same town. You do a mission, you go, you complete it, you go back to the same town. It felt a little bit repetitive in the early stages, you know. Be a bit like if on Tarkov you were doing missions with the traders, but all of them were forcing you to do only one map for 30 hours. And then you had to go and do missions on another map and so on. It, it needs a bit of variation. Uh, 
Uh, hi, Wasted, you're right, too. Thanks for the help. Uh, I've, I've got it working. It's, it's not it's not uh, in, in night view or whatever, or dark mode, sorry. But that window's popped out bright white, but it works and I don't care. It'll do for now. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to get into Takistan, so it's gone down from 13 to 5, just while the music's been playing, so it's going okay. Uh, Luna, thank you for the resub. Very, very kind. Metro, thank you. Sprishka, thank you very much as well. I don't even know how to do that, Wasted. <laughs> no, I'll worry about that. I'll worry about that another day. It's because of the Twitch TV login. It wasn't night mode. I'm guessing that's what you mean. Yeah, I, I should probably do that. I reckon I didn't enjoy it much. Well, Cod, Cod it, it, is it a game in its state right now that I would play regularly? No. But it's the first day of a free trial, pre-early access, you know. So, is it a game I would play forever right now? No. But has it had a start like some other games have had, like, say, uh, Dead Matter or Survive the Nights? No. You know, like, there, there's, there's potential there, but it needs a little bit of tinkering. But that's why they've released it, you know. It's not even early access yet. So, I, I think there's hope for the game. I think there's elements of it, and there's elements of the idea that seem quite refreshing, you know, like... Somewhere between Armour and Tarkov is a is a game space that seems quite interesting to play. But Love the if it stayed as it is now, I'm not going to play it very much, you know. But that it's not going to do that, is it? This music makes my brain brain nut. Blimey, I thought that was brain hurt for a minute. How do you make your brain nut? Actually, don't tell me. <laughs> Luna, thank you. Adzi, uh, love the thumbnail. Thank you very much. Leah, let's go Spurs against everyone except Liverpool. Noah, thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, cheers for the support once again. Uh, Pure Chaos, thank you very much. Cheers for the support. Happy Pizza there's, Friday, there's some everyone. very big news today. We talked about this yesterday, right? Well, the bit that I'm going to get to is what we talked about, but I've changed my OBS settings around. Anybody that was around on Twitch earlier today will have seen me doing a couple of test streams, so... Good morning. Uh, Thanks for the 11 months running. I've set up OBS completely differently this morning to try and improve the performance of the stream. Uh, I've been getting encoding overloaded for about probably two months. So I've just shut the wrong fucking thing there. I wanted to shut the music anyway. Yeah, I've been getting encoding overloaded for about two months and I finally got around to doing the thing that I really should have done to try and fix it in the first place. So uh, ever since I started streaming on YouTube, I've been streaming with Twitch as my primary stream source. So OBS is set up and linked to, to Twitch, OBS being the stream software I use. It's set up and linked to Twitch, and then I use a little plugin to stream to YouTube. It doesn't really matter which way you do it in terms of the quality, it shouldn't change the quality either way. But by having Twitch linked as my primary source, all of my settings are all set up with Twitch, and then the plugin was trying to do YouTube, which was higher bitrate, higher resolution, uh, more hard work. And it, it's a little bit like having a smaller engine to try and do the harder job, to try and drive quicker, if you like, for want of a better uh, like explanation. So this morning I've changed it the other way around so that now YouTube is the primary stream on OBS and the plugin is doing Twitch. Shouldn't make any difference. The stream's qualities are still set up the same. If anything, YouTube will be very, very slightly better, but Twitch is exactly the same. Uh, in fact, it should be very slightly better too, but... The, the upshot of that is that because of the way OBS works, my chats are now reversed. This is the bit that we were talking about yesterday. So my chat box, which is a pop-out in OBS where chat has been forever, that has been Twitch chat for the last nine years. Today it's YouTube. <laughs> and I've had to pop out the Twitch chat, and that's now the secondary chat. So I don't know if it will make any difference to the chats, but YouTube is now in the, in the Twitch slot, and Twitch is now in the other slot. Doesn't, don't think it will make any difference. What's the plugin you're using? Dubs. It's made by Sora Yuki. Uh, I watched a video from... Uh, oh, I can't remember his name. It's one of my very last liked videos because I had to watch it again last night to work something out. Epos Vox, maybe? Uh, there's, it's all in there, right? the, what software I've used and how I've used it. Let me just... Uh, yeah, Epos Vox. It's the, the video is titled How to Multi-Stream with OBS the Right Way. Uh, so I used that video and it's got details of the plugin in it, yeah.
I have YouTube set as the main one, as that as the full res output. Well, that that's what I the video actually told me to do that. What the shit? The video told me to do that, but I ignored it and tried to do it the other way, and it worked anyway. I haven't got a frame counter. I think this spawning. I think uh, the feeling everyone's going to spawn in the same place. It's a little bit frustrating, isn't it? I just I need to be birdside anyway. I get the feeling everyone's not very happy with where they are and they want to be some oh shit, I'm not doing this very well now. T R M Z G Heart. surprisingly hard to do that. There we go. Right, let's get Burnside. Uh, Teapot, thank you. Hello, thank you for the gifted member innings. Yeah, you can't see the chat. You can't see what stream we're on. It. Sorry, server we're on or anything there, can you? No way. Crack Crackers Kate, thank you. Cheers for coming in. <sighs> oh, now I've, got a, now I've got a frame counter as well, which is good. Improvised eye patch. Blimey actually does something. Okay, so I'm guessing people maybe wanted a different spawn. I'm just going to go this way. I, I have no idea what's different on this server. This, so this is a temporary server that was only up, as you've just seen, it's uh, hosted by the Freshborns, but it's up for 500,000 seconds to celebrate their 500,000 uh, subscribers, which I think is just out, like five or six days, something like that. I think it I think it's up for another day or two basically. Uh I think I'm going to head towards Feruzabad. I don't know actually, maybe we should go somewhere else. Let's go to Here's to a good run. Love you bye. Maybe I can get some food. <coughs> they might they might want they might want the respawn. Maybe they didn't, maybe they did. It's a bit unlucky to get the Tato, yeah? Wow. It's taking some serious punishment. Must be about dead, right? Or more for luck. Uh, Aaron, thank you very much. Teapot, thank you. Ellen Dig, Ray's Roughneck, uh, Pure Chaos, thank you. And uh, Hello, thank you for the gifted subs. That's really, really kind. Thank you. How you doing? Hey, how you Not doing? Bad. What's your health like? Yeah, appreciate it. What is it? Flashing. I did wonder if you might need needed just one more to get killed, but I thought I'd see how you were when you woke up. Would you like to carry on and see if you can survive, or would you like to die? I'd like to carry on and see if I can survive, please. Please, oh, Happy you, you're Friday melting my tomorrow. heart, dude. There's, there's your shoes back. There's your shoes and, back. It's and my first and, time on here. And half of you, oh god almighty. And half of you, you can have your potato back. You can have half your rags back, look, you're so lucky. I'm so Thank lucky. You. If I were you, I would let me punch you and then start again. Because you're just going to start again, right? You'd, but your choice, you know. Fair play to you. I feel bad now. It's okay. If I could exchange some of my health and vitality towards you, I would. But I can't. And you're too injured to team up with. You're only going to slow me down. So I'm going. Love you, bye. See <laughs> you later.
Oh. This one could be this one could be AFK. It seems like an ideal opportunity to pick up some food. Look, he's not moving, or they're not moving. They're bound to be AFK. Right, I've not spoken to them, so they don't get to keep their shoes. Right. Let's go and loot this Yo. this town, shall we? It's Al Nadia. Al Nadia. Al Nadia. That sounds a bit dodgy. Nads. Uh, did Takistan have an update? So. There's, uh, the Freshborns have got a server up just temporarily, like, I don't know if there's extras on it. Does anybody know? Does anybody know if there's any extras? Does it do it? There's probably some extra locations and shit, but I don't know. <laughs> Who'd hurt me, TRMZ? <laughs> Nobody hurt me, don't worry, I'm alright. I tell you who did hurt me. The music from the game that I played yesterday, Grey Zone Warfare, that's what hurt me. The whole stream yesterday got fucking copyright claimed because of the in the the make the game the music that played whilst I was doing the character selection. So the entire stream has been copyrighted because of one minute's worth of music in the beginning. So yeah, that that that's hurt me. That's hurt me profoundly. The chopper is loud. There's definitely a lot to work on in that game. But there is a nucleus of an interesting game there. I, I do believe that, but I, I think it needs a lot of work. Hello. Affable, thank you for the subbing. Very, very kind. Hambo, thank you very much too. Mm. Nice door. Go. <laughs> GG. <laughs> I, I suck at it. God damn it. Ah. I'm Australian. It has to be a What's that? Is that running, Dave? That running, Dave. <laughs> I think we'd best go to the other bit of the town. That's one thing that happens on on the Fresh Brawn's temporary servers. They have these. Uh, they have these events, but you'd like the one they did on Chernarus. Everyone stand, spawned at the prison island from memory. It does very much dramatically change the start because everyone starts from the same spot, pretty much. Oh, the jungle noises. I, I felt that's partly why I ended. I mean, the, the Liverpool result was not worth it, was it? But the uh, the in-game sounds are, are, I say Daisy's are oppressive, but that was on another level, you know. It was, uh, yeah, there was a lot. I felt like I'd been locked into the reptile house at Colchester Zoo. And everything had been turned up to 11. It's not BR, no, no. Uh, yeah, wasted. I was okay. I, I did, I did it. I, after stream, I got injured and I got. I was kind of, I had two organ issues and I didn't realise what I had to do, but you have to use the med packs or whatever they're called, the the kits to fix internal, the surgical kits. And I was doing all sorts of weird things, but yeah, I, I do enjoy the, I enjoy the game. I think there's something there. It's not, it's one of those have things no though, time. right now, the PvP versus the AI isn't actually amazingly fun. And that's mostly what there is, unless you go off in some stupid quest to try and kill people at their base, which is a bit like... Like, you're going to spawn camp their base, but you've only got one life, and they've got infinite lives, because they can just respawn and respawn and respawn, you know? It, it's it's not really, uh... There are some other things that are a bit broken with it, I think, off the top of my head. For example, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but, like, this was in a little list that was just on Twitter, but... When you know where the helicopter drops are far, you can just camp where the helicopter's going to be... ...and then shoot people when they land, you know? As they land, they, they come off the heli... They can't shoot, they can't do anything, and you can kill them. But uh, the, e the element of the game is there. I don't think it suits a Daisy player, to be honest. I don't think it's probably going to suit me. Now I've played it for a, a time, and I've 
cogitated. I'm going to play it some more during this trial period and just see how it goes, but One more month it's not got age. enough interactions. There's not enough bumping into other players. It, I don't think there will be. It's it's going to maybe appeal to more of a an armor type player. <clears throat> but we shall see. And the AI do seem to tank a lot of rounds. You're right. Like uh, they can be wearing like no helmet, and you hit them in the head three times before they die. And then some some other one you hit in the head, and it dies instantly. There seems to be no there seems to be no rhyme or reason to it. Just some take three. That like this one's going to take more shots for no reason than that one. Do I think the ambient music is good for Daisy? Not for me personally, no, but I think it would be for, for some people, for sure. Obviously, I can't really have ambient music because I uh, I stream, right? Like, I've not I stream, I, I make YouTube videos and the ambient music will get in the way of that. Uh, I'm just going to go over the hill and try and get further away, I think. AI thumbnail. Yeah, I didn't make it. That It was made uh, possibly with AI, but a viewer made it. Their name's on the thumbnail, actually. Uh, but, yeah, it, it, that, uh, the, the actual main character looks nothing like me, but the dog in it looks like Toby, which I think is a really cool thing, so I, uh, I thought I'd use it as a thumbnail today. Will I continue playing Grey Zone today? I'm not sure. We'll see how Daisy goes. I... I'm torn between doing so and not, you know. One thing I'd forgotten, actually, the uh, the PvP event. The uh, I thought it was a, the Sunday after. It's on Sunday, so at the moment I'm second reserve for the 30-player PvP event, the Namask one, you know, the, the Project Cerberus one. So, uh, all being well, I'll be streaming an event on, on Sunday, so there won't be any Grey Zone Sunday. I'll see how Daisy goes today. I think the important thing is if you don't like the Daisy music, you can turn it off, which you obviously can, William. So it's no it's no skin off anyone's nose. But for me personally, I don't want music. You know, like sometimes there'll be some really atmospheric, ambient kind of cool music, and you're having a really good, happy-go-lucky interaction with someone that's really funny, and the music doesn't fit the scenario. I, I just don't see that being something I want personally. I need to start recording. I think that's too far away. Oh, maybe we could get to it. I, we might be. There's probably other people will, but we might as well. Can I show you where the good loot is? What on Takistan? God knows where the good loot is. Uh, image. Thank you very much. Cheers Hi, for the support. Dude. Thank you. Hope you and family are doing well. Keep on running TRMZ love TRMZ EPIC. Palm, thank you. We're doing all right. I uh, I might need a headache pill actually on that subject, but other than that, we're doing all right. I'm doing all right. Kid, kids are seem okay. We shall see. You love the ambient music on the mouse. Hope the hope the official one is as good. Yeah, it, it would be interesting to see. I just I obviously I can't use it. It just won't work for YouTube because. If I play ambient music while I'm playing, the game is going to record it, and then when we want to do editing and put music on, not going to work. Yeah, I think the performance since I've made that change to the streaming has has been, it's it's much better. I've been playing. I, it hasn't really affected things very much, but it's it's been choppy and it's been kind of wrong for about six weeks to two months. This is wow, much better. My legs have gotten strong from all this running. Do I edit my own videos? I did for the first nine years. For the last year and a half, I've been using an editor for most of the videos. So most videos now are, are made by Uncuper. His link's always in the video description, so I pay someone to edit the videos. Uh, I, I used to do six days a week, and the sixth day was editing, roughly. Sometimes it was five, depending on the kids, but... I've gone to a five-day week, and I stream every day, and I still do. Lot, I like this morning. I've done two hours on the PC, Sunday, so ha -ha. there's still well. there's still uh, work, for want of a better word, uh, to do when I'm not streaming. But I I I don't want to do six days anymore. You know, I've got kids, I've got a missus, I've got family, and 
six days a week. There'll be people out there doing seven days a week right now, and I, I feel for you, you know, but six days a week for eight years was enough. I, I, <laughs> I want to go back to five now. That would be good. Chill and days. Uh, and so I, I've got an editor, and I, paying for the editor has effectively bought me an extra day off. And also, I think the videos are pretty pretty decent with them Cooper editing them too. He's only editing, so he has more time to invest in a video. When I edited a video, I used to start at, say, 9am, and I'd be finished by 6 to 7pm, if it was a bigger video, and that would be it. That, No matter what I wanted to achieve, the video would have to be done there, because tomorrow I was streaming again, you know, I'd have to do it in one day. Have I seen the Fallout series? I have, yes, yeah, really, really good. It, I really enjoyed it, much better than I thought it was going to be. Refreshingly so, I thought. Yeah, it was alright. A little bit join the dots in places. No no spoilers from me or anyone in the chat, please. But it was a bit join the dots in certain elements of the plot, particularly how characters meet and whatnot. But nonetheless, I really liked it. Thursdays was my editing day, Jambon, and then I used to try and stream on Fridays when I could. At one time, I used to stream on Fridays. Like I'd go and get the kids, and then I'd stream in the evening on the Friday anyway. So... I used to stream on Fridays, and if it was the day when I got the kids, I used to pick them up and bring them home and then stream. I think that might be an upright zombie. We might we might actually be in with a shout here. What do I mean, how the characters meet? Well, Liam, I don't want to talk about specific plots, but normally in TV shows, if you think about The Witcher, the entire first season was the Witcher meeting up with the, the lead girl in the show, whose name I still can't remember. Siri, I remembered it. Now, maybe an entire season is too much, but what I've just said Siri, sorry. My phone's going, and probably other people's are going too. Uh, Siri, go away. <laughs> anyway, the uh, normally what shows do is they show an arc of a character, and they show a story that allows people to meet. Whereas in... in this show, what happens is that they show five minutes of each character and they all just randomly bump into each other whenever they need to, you know. They're in a massive sprawling land landscape bigger than this map, yet they just always bump into exactly the person that makes sense for the story, like they were just walking around a corner and then the other one was coming the other way. But there's nobody else anywhere. That's what I mean. It's very conveniently done to make the plot move along, but it seems a little bit far-fetched almost. Have I ever played EVE Online? I have not. It's upside down. Or at least it's on its side. I was expecting Zomboys. Yeah, it makes sense there's no one about Akari, Akari but that, that's not the bit that, that I'm struggling with. It makes no sense that there's literally an infinite landscape, but the only people in it bump into each other without any challenge whatsoever. What is this, then? So is that just water, then? Where's the actual helicopter? I thought it was a great show, yeah. I, I, things... Shows have their ups and their downs, but that was the down. This looks like something that someone crashed. It does, yeah. But what we heard was a proper heli, so I don't think this is the one. I'm not drinking gasoline. It's water, see? It says water on it. I'm just going to go over these hills, because I did think that was a bit more left than I was expecting. Maybe there is another proper heli this way. Is it purified? Who knows? We'll soon find out, won't we? Long time YouTube viewer. I have a wife and kids myself. How do you find juggling gaming time and finding the perfect balance spending time with your wife and kids? It's very hard, Captain Dev, but it's easier for me because it's my job. You know, it, it, it's different. Like, it's paying the mortgage. It's uh, it's it's paying all of the bills. It, it's providing a, an opportunity for maybe my kids maybe to go to university if they want to, you know. It's a, it's a little bit different, you know, like hopefully me and the missus will get to go on holiday this year and it will hopefully provide for that as well, you know. It's a very different thing than trying to find gaming time. Do 
just going to stop and shoot me, I think. Is that a crossbow? He might not then. What the hell are they doing? Hello? Hello? You all right? All right, good to know then. Okay, oh, hell. Why don't you wait until I run a bit further away? He's going to be disappointed when he loots that heli. I don't know if there's another heli, but that didn't sound quite the same line. I'm going to get over that one ridge there. If I don't see it, I'm just going to turn left and start looting the towns. <clears throat> he went prone, so I didn't know they were there. Do you reckon? Maybe. Uh, live's good. Thank you for the 11 months. It's a challenge otherwise, and uh, the reality is to put bait gaming on the back burner. You know, like, like, like it's it's easier said work. than done, but I don't watch a lot of... Uh, sorry, I don't play a lot of games when I'm not doing it for streaming, you know, hardly ever. Yeah, uh, Mrs. doesn't play uh, play any games. Matt. That's uh, used to when she was a kid, more on like consoles and stuff. But as an adult, she's never been into it. Less than three. He was tabbed. That's why he was pro. Maybe, maybe they were tabbed. But as soon as I got near, they saw me. To be honest, I was running up hoping they were alt-tabbed. That's what I was doing. I was, or maybe they would—they went prone to look at the map, you know. But they might have alt-tabbed. They might have gone prone to look at the map. Something like that. But whatever it was, they—they uh, they spotted me soon enough, anyway. Do I play games with the kids? Little bits. I've—I've I've got a switch. Uh, so with me and the younger one, the twelve-year-old Maggie, we played a little bit of. Uh, Mud Runners and a little bit of the new Mario, and she brought her copy of uh, uh, Mario Kart last time they were here, and we had a bit of a go at that. But we don't do it too much. The kids aren't here that much, you know. They were just here for a week, but even then, time flies. So we we have a little go. But if they're there, if they're here for the weekend, it might be half an hour to an hour or none, you know. Seem to have got away with it so far. So I am doing a bit of an inane run now, just in the hope that I might find the real helicopter, but I think I might be wasting my time. It seems like there's a ridge to go over and then I might see the heli, and then I get to the ridge and then there's another ridge, and I can never see into the distance, you know. Uh, Captain, she doesn't have any interest in Daisy, no. Kids don't all often, well, they do sometimes, but they they, they don't have a great deal of interest in what I do. They don't, they kind of know what I do. Well, they know what I do. I've got a 15-year-old as well, so uh, they both know what I do, but they're not interested in PC gaming. They mostly play games on phones or tablets like most kids do, I suppose. <clears throat> Something happened to Takistan. The Freshborns have got a temporary server up that people are playing, so it's it's a full server with lots of interest just on the temporary basis so that's why people are playing it it's why i'm playing it basically well i don't see the heli i'm gonna try and see a bit further around that way and then i'm gonna give up i feel like that was it i feel like that was the sound but i don't maybe they've got different obviously this server's a, a new server they might have heli sounds for those and all it does is spawn water, you know, just help you survive. Fuck knows. Love you, mate, from Australia. Been watching you for a couple of years. Now having a whiskey ATM. Enjoying the stream. Love ya, bye. Thank you. Cheers for the support, Edsy. Very, very kind. Hope you're well. Enjoy it. It, it can't have been a player-crashed helicopter because a player-crashed helicopter would not have made that sound. It must have been, like, like done by the game, as it were. And uh, if that's the case, uh, check, check, let's just go there then. 
that was it. There's not been another one. I think it can only have been that one. Haven't been on here in a while. Great to be back. <sighs> the guy that... He was coming from a bit more to the right, but he, he didn't have any helicopter crash site loot. So, I I don't know. That, that dude had just looted the, the basics and was coming from where he'd spawned, you know. Uh, beefy, thanks for the five months. Bad respawn, Ferrugia, uh, fat white guy, lives good, stats, fantastic. And Dell, thanks for the support. I'll turn a year younger than you this Saturday. Dude. Time flies. What's the YouTube plugin I'm using? I'm using an OBS plugin. I'm not using anything for YouTube, but I'm using an OBS plugin that's made by someone called Sora Yucky that, that's uh, like a multi-streaming plugin. Uh, it's definitely helped to switch them around. It's so much smoother today than it's been in about two months. I drink whiskey neat if I'm going to have it, Henny, yeah. I'm looking forward to Fury, you sick. I'm probably going to be off that weekend. Me and the missus are hoping to... Uh, she's not coming to the Czech Republic, obviously. We've, she's not coming because her, uh, her mother's possibly having to go up to Scotland to look after her grandma, uh, my missus' grandmother, right? So uh, we're not. she's not coming to the Czech Republic anymore. So we, we're thinking on the weekend after we've not got the kids, we're going to go uh, somewhere on the coast just for a couple of days. Like, just chill out, walk along the beach, have a meal or whatever, you know? Uh, so I think I'm that weekend is the weekend, so I think I'm going to be away. So I'll have to find a pub or something to watch it in. There isn't a lot of cover in Pakistan. Uh, it's one of the things that uh, is interesting about it, but a challenge. Like because there's stamina, uh, like because there's not infinite stamina, which I don't like. But on this particular map, the the stamina and the, it's very hard if you get a. Like, if you're getting chased on Chernerus by a couple of geared players and you're a new spawn, you've always got a chance to escape. You can run into a forest, you can do whatever. On this, if you're in the open and they can see you, you, you often have to run 400 metres to not be in the open. And even then, it's a tree or a rock. Uh, like, like if we started getting shot at, I'd have to go for the ridge line. And yet, like if somebody was behind me there, I'd, I'd have no hope, you know, like... Uh, it's a tricky thing, that. If, it doesn't almost suit vanilla DayZ settings, Takistan. Wildcats, well, I wouldn't blame her. <laughs> Josh, they regularly have sales. Day Daisy's model is pretty much to keep it at full price and then have 40% off sales. Uh, it is, however, on the Xbox Game Pass, so if you have the Xbox Game Pass, you get you can play Daisy on it there as well. Uh, Jago, thank you very much for the support. That's really kind. I do get a little bit of revenue from YouTube pre pre Premium, just so you know, by the way. Uh, but I do appreciate the tip. That's very kind. Cheers for the super chat, dude. Thank you. Manxy, thank you for the Prime. Cheers for using your Prime on my channel. That's very kind as well. Right, this is where I thought we'd head. I just want to have a look, see what's what. The, the looting phase in Pakistan can be a little bit slow. But I want to have a look in some houses, try and find a bag, maybe find a some kind of rifle or a shotgun or whatever. So we'll loot a few houses and see what's what. That might, might, I don't think it is, it might be a drivable car. Uh, Manxy, thank you for using your Prime sub. They've moved it a little bit, made it harder to find, Thoughts which is frustrating. Thoughts on this Champions League winner? Call me an idiot, but I've got Bayern. As a, it could happen. It could be a Bayern Borussia Dortmund final, couldn't it? You never know. I, I think the more likely outcome final is probably Real Madrid versus uh, versus PSG. Uh, I, I, that's a tough, tough choice, isn't it? Choosing choosing between uh, PSG and Real Madrid is like choosing whether you want to have your right hand chopped off or both feet or something. You know, like <laughs> like it, like I neither choice. I I I don't want either to win. So I don't have ads. Here's my money you are missing from my phone. Why can't there be more maps for console? Uh, the maps that we have on PC are made by the community. They're modded, so they're, they are made by the community. 
and Daisy on console doesn't port support modding in that way. Uh, so they can't do modded maps. So you can have some changes to servers on console, but they're all inside the server. So sometimes, like, some servers can add on some extra loot or change the guns a little bit, but they're only able to do things that are in the game file, that Daisy's got in the game file, but they're not active. So, like, for example, on ser some servers, console has, like, weed. And, like, at one time, the devs were intending to add that to the game, so it's actually in the file for the game. So they, uh... The servers on console can add it, but Daisy are never going to add it, but console servers can. However, on console you can't add anything that's not in the existing game file, really. So you can't have a modded map, you can't have a helicopter or a boat or uh, anything that's not ever been added. You can't, like, add things in. On, con on PC there is a whole modding scene with a workshop where you can... Like, people can create mods, they can create bespoke things and then add them to the workshop and then servers can add them to the game. Console doesn't have it. That's a very long and drawn out answer, but unfortunately when I give a quicker one, sometimes people on YouTube tell me I'm wrong for about two weeks. What was the plan in Weed? I think they were going to add it as part of Horticulture. And it was added to the game file, but it had, Daisy actually got banned for a short period in Australia because some modded servers added the weed into it and then then it had medicinal benefits which is uh, like having recreational drugs in a game and then having benefits such as they calm you down and make your aim straighter or whatever it might have been you know uh, that, that's infringing on certain rules in certain countries they don't like that stuff so it, it it was actually temporarily banned in Australia because of some modded servers having weed in the game and it had some kind of benefit But yeah, I, the, the devs, when, when it came out on console years ago, said they would not be able to support modding on console. So you, you can't have modded maps. They're not The devs don't make these maps like this one. It was made by a person in their spare time. Is Livoni worth the money? I'd get it when it's on sale, dude. But if, you, if you're playing on console, it's the only other map. It's absolutely worth it. If you're playing on PC, I still believe it's worth it, but you've got a whole plethora of other options to play through before you're bored, and then you get it, you know. It's a, it's a good way to help, uh, I guess, support the broken kazoo. <laughs> it don't do shit. I guess it's broken, isn't it? What's the key to power punch? It's while you shift. It's while, it's while you're holding shift. I thought I that was throwing me yesterday. Muller, Muller was saying that to hold breath in in uh, in Daisy was shift. I'm like, I'm sure it's control. I'm sure it's left control to hold breath. And I was trying to remember, I don't, I, uh, it's one of those things, but it's second nature when you play the game. I don't think about what button is hold breath, I just press it, if that makes sense. You know, I don't, I don't think about it, not in any way. So when we were talking about it, I was like, I'm sure it's, sure it's left control, and I couldn't work it out. Anyway, it is. <laughs> Crackers Kate, sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. I hope, hope I get forgiven at some point. <laughs> oh, this is running so smooth, though. I ha I'm really happy with the... Uh, that was a positive change. So the uh, the multi-streaming is wor Nearly working much, much better. Entertainment. Keep on running. It did say broken gaming, you're right. Can I fart for you? Uh, I can't do it on demand. I ain't that special. I did have beans for lunch, though. So give it an hour or two. You never know. Press period. Which one is it in? I die doing this. Well, 
I'm not sure it hey, was worth it. Days. Hope you're well. You're to blame for my partner Adley watching Premier League and me having to buy him a new watch. Crackers, thank you again. Uh, Black Leaf, cheers for the reset as well. Jago, thank you again for the super chat. Hazza, thank you too. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I should be trusting that. There's no TP in these toilets. YouTube quality looks good as long as you're on 1440p. Well, that's that's definitely how it should be, dude. Like, YouTube allocates higher bandwidth, massively higher bandwidth, to uh, 1440p. And so, 1080p is going to be not just lower resolution, but much less information as well. On the subject of YouTube, tomorrow's YouTube video, I've seen that it, it's an... I really enjoyed it. I hope it gets some views. I don't know if it will or not, but... Tomorrow's video is the shoutcasting one, so... Last week's video was me entering an event. This week's video is me shoutcasting the next month's event. And I watched it this morning. I really liked it. I thought it was kind of fun. It's quite tense. You get to see... I I, I think it works nicely. I, I really enjoyed watching it. Like a highlight of the, that event. I think it was kind of cool. Uh, whether it gets any views or not. I don't, the title will probably be something like... I shoutcasted my first DayZ event and it was epic. Or something like that. I, I just mildly... Uh, Mildly clickbaity, but true. It was it was epic. I really enjoyed it. But anyway, I get the feeling it might not be a very popular video because people want to watch me do well or do badly or die or try or whatever. But nonetheless, hopefully it does warrant because I think it's really fun. <clears throat> the uh, I had an interesting conversation with some dude yesterday. I'm always retelling these troll troll conversations I have, but somebody on yesterday's YouTube video left a message saying, why are you so lazy that you're not editing your videos? You're just uploading them unedited. And I'm like, it's it's not an uploaded, it's not an upload that's unedited. It's a live stream. And they came back going, just proof that I've attached an all raw nerve and you're so lazy. Are you uploading unedited videos? I'm like, I replied again, what are you not understanding? Anti-venom. Holy shit. It, it's, it's not unedited. It's a live stream. I stream five times a week. This is one of those five. And then this morning I woke up and he deleted his post. <laughs> so I'm guessing perhaps it, he'd had an epiphany and realised he was being a bit of a douche. <laughs> Which is quite nice for me. I don't know if I really need best insulation, but I need, do need the space. Yeah, the venom would suggest that there are there are snakes. God, this is so smooth. I'd actually quite like to try Grey Zone today, just to see how much smoother it would be. Yesterday, I really struggled with it in terms of performance. Like, I don't. I really would love to get to the bottom of why Sal was getting like 180 frames and I was getting 80. There's something different in our setups. Like, I think the specs are pretty much the same. I think. But yeah, nonetheless, I, I, I yeah, I'd like to get to the bottom of that. Was there an NVIDIA update? No, CJ, I've changed the way I'm using OBS around quite a lot. So, in a nutshell, I've set OBS up completely differently in order to try and improve it. And it so far seems to have been really positive on that front. Yeah, I saw Muller go on Steam and start playing it earlier. I'm on a 4090. There was no TI when, uh, when I, uh, I... Is there a 4090 TI now? But I'm on a 4090. There was no TI when I got it. I could see me upgrading when the 50 series comes out, even though the card I've got is amazing. Uh, I could see me upgrading when I wouldn't normally, but be because I'm now streaming on YouTube and Twitch and it's doing so much more work, I feel like there's more of a case for getting the latest and greatest a bit more than I was doing before. But just playing DayZ, this is uh, completely no problem. It's the streaming to YouTube and streaming to Twitch and recording with Shadowplay and playing the game that's the challenge. <laughs> it's 
probably using frame generation. I don't know if frame generation was available if you had DLSS active, which uh, he did. I actually watched his stream back and had a look to see what they were, what he was using, and I tried to use the same, and I still didn't get the same frames. You need a streaming card. They're not really available in, in any kind of sensible way right now. There are other challenges, but I, I shouldn't need a streaming card. A beast card. I'm only playing DayZ. And, and it's running it fine now, you know. I've had to do some tweaking. I had to do some tweaking to uh, make it work correctly. But my issue was how I had it set up, not the card. So it is running. It's feeling smooth. Like you wouldn't even know I was doing all those things. It's running DayZ perfectly smooth right now. As well as doing the other things. I didn't think there was a 4090 Ti. Um, there may be one, but I'd be surprised that the 4090 is the kind of, like, the out there stupidly priced card so far of this generation, isn't it? See, I've got all these cans. I've got no way to open them. <laughs> meat in a can. What meat? Stop asking, start eating. <laughs> it's the special stuff from Hillary Bliss. I have the same voice as Jack Frags. I, I used to get told that when I first started playing DayZ, believe it or not. Before I had a YouTube channel, a, a few people used to, I'd meet people and go, are you Jack Frags? And I'd go, no. And some people didn't believe me. Maybe, I, it wasn't, but maybe there was a slight inspiration in that for me to start making YouTube videos. There wasn't, that wasn't my inspiration, but maybe it was subconsciously. Another month, another sub. Thanks for all the fun and entertainment. Not so much for the full start this morning. Wasted some perfectly good morning wood. <laughs> I did tweet you. Have a great stream. I'll Lee. raise a Negroni to the fuckery this evening. <laughs> Thank you, cheers for the support, dude. Wasted perfectly good morning wood, eh? Blimey. Do I ever get bored of playing DayZ or burnt out of playing DayZ? I actually get asked that question every day. I'm probably more burnt out of asking, answering the question than I am DayZ, and 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 that's not meant. I'm not being snippy. It's all fine. Playing DayZ is like playing DayZ five days a week for maybe forty hours would be really harsh and tough, right? But if you enjoy streaming, then that's a whole other the thing altogether. I love streaming. Streaming is fun. I enjoy the streams nearly every day. Maybe I don't enjoy every stream, but if I'm in a bad mood, if I've had a bad day or whatever, sometimes I can struggle a bit. But that, who doesn't go into work some days in a bad mood, you know? Like, it's no different whatever you do. But streaming itself is amazing. I love it. So streaming keeps Daisy fresh in a way that... I don't know, like... Like, some people work in an office and they do nothing but Excel every day. But people can understand that they don't get bored of Excel in as far as that's their job, you know, they probably find other ways to keep themselves entertained, talk to their work colleagues or whatever, you know. This is my job, and I'm very glad it is, because it's a lot more fun than Excel. <laughs> you get my point, right? Uh, right. Empty. There we go. Well, the next thing... I, I don't know, Raz. So, the Daisy devs are flying about ten or so of us. Maybe more now, I, I think. But ten or so people to Prague in the first week of uh, in the first week of May. And I'm hoping that we're going to find out some, some juicy goss as to what's changing with the game. If I do, I'm not likely to be able to talk about whatever the juicy goss is. But I'm looking forward to finding out. But th my reason for starting with this tale is that... I've known Daisy and I've known the devs and I've known what they do and how they do it as long as standalone has been out, Daisy standalone. They never do stuff like pay for people to go to Prague, you know, they they're, they're putting us up in apartments that are I believe owned by them. But they're paying for the flights, they're paying for flights from people from Australia and all sorts, you know. So I just feel like whatever they're announcing is going to be big. Is is where I'm going with that long and winding story. I don't think they would be spending the money on sending people to Prague if it was going to be something minor. So I feel like it's a new map, but I feel like it's a new map with other things. Maybe a series of DLC or maybe some technological improvements or maybe 
Maybe, just maybe, and I, this is a dream. I, don't, I, I think this is unlikely, but maybe it's Daisy 2. Maybe it's Daisy 2. I doubt it is, though. Uh, El Stanto, thank you very much for the support. Patrick, did you read the food can before you ate it? I haven't eaten it yet, thankfully. I'm in the clear. Would be interesting to see days two maybe on Unreal Engine. Uh, it, it won't go on Unreal Engine, dude. Like, uh, that game yesterday was on Unreal. I, as much as it looked good, I think it was five, but it won't support a, a map. I, in my opinion, I don't think Unreal will support a map of the size of DayZ and do the things that DayZ needs to do. Like, uh, Bohemia have got challenges and they've got issues with games, including issues with Armory Forger as well as DayZ right now. But the best engine for truly open world games with enterable buildings and all those other things right now is probably still DayZ's engine that they're built specifically for that, you know. I, I, Unreal can look nice. It has some places where it doesn't look so nice, you know. It's very different. It, it might not suit so well certain things. Oh, I saw a player behind the tree for a second. But yeah, anyway, I, I, I'm not convinced Unreal would, would support a game like this. Man, this is running smooth today. John McLean is not on the dev team, no. You have the same voice as Jack Frags. Well, that was a while ago, wasn't it? Oh no, it wasn't. That's a new one saying the same thing. Uh, Alefisk, thank you very much. Yeah, someone just said the same thing. You probably know that though. Uh, thank you very much for the support, uh, Bob. Last, months, thank you too. Unreal. Uh, cheers for the support. What do you think the map would be if you took a guess? Well, they gave they they sent us an audio clip, which is on Mark's YouTube channel at the moment. Mark's on YouTube. Uh, what do you think the map would be if you took a guess? And in that audio clip, it implied travelling from Chernarus in the winter and going a long way. So there were a few things. It could be winter Chernarus, or it could be winter Chernarus as well as something to the side. They, they may be like. If you were in certain areas of the uh, game, you can find an extended map that shows all of, I think it's South Zagoria or something like that, but it's a big extended map where Chernoros is only a small part of the rest of it. It may be that they're opening up more of that, which would be interesting, but it would also come with a side order of, it's a load of double red house, double green house, pink roof house, barn shape house. It would all be the same assets, you know. That might be it. That might be what they're doing. Who knows? But they did imply something about travel, and they also implied something about winter. But they they could be implying that it's coming out in winter in that clip. It, it could be that it's a whole new game. We, none of us know. Nobody knows. Pristine, pristine. Oh, I'll just keep that one. We're finding some okay stuff. I do with a knife. The roofs seem to be the spot for the military loot, don't they? You're wrong, Jack Fax has the same voice as you. He should be very proud, fair enough. <laughs> well, I can use that to open cans in a pinch. Flanker, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you very much. I think I've been on the roof, haven't I? Can't remember if I've been on the roof of this one or not. I hadn't been on the roof. end of this town for looting, which is good because I'm a bit bored of being here now. Robert, thank you for the subbing. Flanker, cheers very much as well. Stoney, uh, thank it, thanks again for the support. Cheers for the bits, dude. You have more loot than I found in three hours and died of dehydration. 
Yeah, that's partly why I, and I've never played this map before, but it just felt common sense. Like, we spawned up here somewhere, and I think most people would be inclined to... I spawned about here. TRM most people would be inclined to go to here or here or go to the military base. So I've ended up coming a long way. I was intending to come down here, but coming to Chak... Chak Chak. Chak Chak. I, I guess it's a bit out of the way, and it's probably somewhere that not many people have bothered to go to, which was... A little bit lucky, because I ended up following a helicopter crash site, but it's also a little bit by design as well, you know, like... If you're on a map and you know everyone's spawning in roughly the same area, you've got to go somewhere where people aren't likely to go. That's, that's the trick with the Daisy loot economy, you know, you want to be somewhere where nobody else wants to be. At first, anyway, you know, later on you need to go to the hotspots if you want good military loot. You need to go where the good military loot is, there's no avoiding wrong. it. Jack Frags has the same voice as you. He should be very proud. I just missed an MP5. I didn't miss an MP5, Steve. It was on a wooden box. It was a UMP. And it was the same UMP that I took the suppressor off and put onto my UMP before. So I'd actually taken a suppressor off that UMP and put it on my one. Okay. How would you fix Tottenham's attack seeing as Liverpool's not going to win the league? Uh, I, I, based on the way Liverpool are playing, I think you're probably right. However, I, I think they still are in with a chance. Man City are, and Arsenal are both going to have some hills to overcome for getting dumped out of the Champions League. I know Liverpool have been dumped out of the UEFA Cup, but they had to come to terms with getting dumped out last week. You know, I think they're a week further on. I actually think the turn of events in Europe help Liverpool more than they help Arsenal and uh, City. Especially City getting beat on penalties, you know. Now they're going into an FA Cup. Were they to get beat by Chelsea, it could really affect their season. I'd, I'd be unlucky, but Chelsea is starting to hit a bit of form. You just never know. What price a Chelsea-Coventry final? I would love to see that. Chelsea-Coventry in the FA Cup final. That'd be hilarious. But anyway. Uh, how would I fix Tottenham's attack? Uh, by replacing Harry Kane would probably be a start. I don't watch anywhere near enough football, but uh, I know Song was doing really well in the early part of the season, but they need an out-and-out -out striker, surely. Madison looks a really good player, a really good attacking midfielder, but they need someone like a true centre forward, surely. Canteen on belt. Oh, that's hey a win. Bro, how would you fix Tottenham's attack, seeing Liverpool's not going to win the league, lol? I, I do genuinely think Liverpool are still in with a shout. They're at, they've got the outside chance now, you know, but they, they still have a chance. Liverpool have as good of a chance of finishing, uh, winning the league as uh, as Tottenham do of, of uh, finishing fourth and getting the Champions League. Do a stream with smoke already. We hardly ever on at the same time, dude. That's the trouble. Hardly ever on at the same time. Otherwise, I'm, that'd be cool. The only chance they have is if Man City lose a game now. I think they, Man City can draw a game, actually. I think they're two points behind City, and the goal difference is only about three. So, say City were to draw and Liverpool were to win 3-0, they'd be right back in it, you know. So, they don't need City to lose, they need City to draw one. But then Liverpool still have to win all games, and the way they're going at the moment, that doesn't seem likely. Have you seen City's running? They've already won the league. I'm not sure that's true, Teapot. City don't... That they may well that they are the best team in the in it. They are not exactly. Oh, there's a dude. They are not exactly firing all fill, all cylinders by their standards at the moment. And there's the odd game. For example, they've got to play Tottenham. There's the odd game where they may drop points. And if you look at City through the season so far, they've dropped points where you wouldn't expect them to. They, that's the way it's been. But they probably will win the league. They should be heavy favourites, and rightly so. You know, but you never know. There was a player in the distance then. Beep boop. Happy Friday.
Yeah, I've got a rifle in hand. That tree's a bit annoying. I don't think they're going to be friendly somehow. Oh, this house sucks. gone, but I think they know I was in there. And I've got to go this way. Oh, there they are. Out comes his gun before the wave. away from the second kid what face kappa <laughs> run away <laughs> you never know it might have been a headshot <laughs> he did wave back he did wave back he took him a minute but he did or well, they did exe thank you very much for the 16 months runs on scotch beat bot thank you very much dude I may have I may have stirred a hornet's nest there. Yeah, they're, they're not for giving up now, but I wonder if they will give up. <laughs> I don't think they're going to give up. Perhaps might might live to regret that somehow. Yeah, they're still there. Hopefully they'll turn back and go the other way. Exy, thanks very much. Uh, cheers for the support, Exy. Prediction has started. Oh dear. Casper, uh, you can do that on any server. You can have stamina be higher and drain lower. And it's, it's a, like a server Eric owner donated $10. decision. Another 100,000 useless channel points. Thanks for the entertainment. Eric, thank you. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you very much. So the slight downside here is we know that the fella from behind had uh, come from this way, but I think we've still got to go this way. I'm not going to stop at the first house. I think I'm going to go and get into the town. No way in hell a Derringer shot would connect from that range. You'd be surprised, dude. You take enough shots like that, sooner or later you land one. You do. Even if it's 50 to 1, right? That means that one time in 50, you're going to get lucky. It, that's the way That's the way these things work. That's why you end up with crazy videos on your channel over the years. If you take some silly chances, every now and then, a silly chance pays off. Do you commenters only read the comments that are in blue and green? I'm starting to think you do, otherwise you would have seen the comment before mine in grey. Uh, nope. I just pick them randomly, if you mean me. But I'm looking at two chats at the same time. I don't see colours, by the way. I see your name. Your name's green, by the way, but I don't know if you mean anything else. But yeah, I, I don't only read messages, I, but I'm reading two chats, one on Twitch, one on YouTube. So it's tricky to catch catch them all, as Ash would say. Uh, Robert, cheers for the support. Dude, thank you. Uh, thank you for the gifted member inning. I think we've got a storm coming. There's a storm a-brewing. So in this storm you can't actually go outside or you get you get ill. It's the same as ever on on Pakistan, though. Finding actual guns. I know we've got an AK and a we've got an AK and an M an M16, an AK and a UMP, but finding actual guns is nigh on fucking impossible. 
Like finding a Mosin in Takistan is like uh, it's like winning the lottery. I have more chance of uh, meeting Emily Blunt and her asking me to marry her. <laughs> Whilst also saying, "Don't worry about John; it doesn't matter." Happy running. Am I solo on the server? Yeah, there's nobody else in it, dude. It's just me. It's just me. Nobody else. That one that was just shooting at me before, that that was uh, that was a ghost. Yeah, I, I, I'm playing on a very, very highly popped server. Stream beats. I don't want stream beats. Shall we eat the meat in a can? I know the good stuff is at the Millie, Sean, but you don't get Mosins at the Millie. That's the thing. That's one of the problems with Takistan, you know. Trying to get... Like, if you play regular maps and you travel away from where you spawn, that's where you find Mosins and Blazes and civilian guns, but good ones, right? Or hunting guns, but good ones. On Takistan, it doesn't really have that. You can loot wherever you go. And sometimes there's certain cars that have okay loot. Zombie just aggroed. the fuck is that one aggro? Man, that sucks. He's aggroed them all and I've got to deal with them. Why is that not connected? Oh, God. Fucking marvellous. The, the, the fucking axe shots weren't connecting with the zombies. I'm only bleeding once, so I'm going to be all right. What changes did I get making OBS? I made YouTube my primary uh, streaming site, not Twitch. So I've completely changed YouTube setup. Sorry, Twitch OBS is setup. So I was using OBS uh, to stream to Twitch and then using a the plugin to stream to YouTube. Now I'm using Twitch OBS to stream to YouTube and a plug-in to stream to Twitch. Doesn't change the quality, but changing the priority order has massively changed the uh, the outcome. Where's my uh, axe gone? Nice little lie down. I'm going to probably die here, but so be it. Derringer in a dream, right? That's where the dude killed the Zeds. I think we might have missed him in the... I thought he had lots more aggro on them. I thought he was going to be stuck in one of these buildings, but where I've gone on con, I've lost the, uh, the opportunity. He may have just come past, gone completely past me.
Can't believe you queued like normal people for this server. Well, I probably could have requested queue priority, to be fair, and I may have got it, but... I don't normally do that. <laughs> it's sometimes I get queue priority, and I'm very grateful, but it's very rare I ask for it. Sometimes a mod has asked for it for me, but I just joined the server. I don't kind of expect queue priority. If I get it, I'm very grateful, but I don't go out of my way to achieve it, if that makes sense. Well, I don't know where that player went. The sandstorm does reduce your health. That's it's not so much the zombies, but the the uh, it's not so much the zombies, but the sandstorm that's making my health go down right now. That's why I'm a segment down more so than dealing with the Zeds. So if you look at my health, it's going up. When I go outside, it then starts going down again. So the player that we bumped into, they they won't be very far away. They've got to still be around, and they're likely going to be indoors. Because you don't lose health when you're indoors, obviously. I'm pretty sure there's a well a little bit further on. We might catch them there. Uh, Robert, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the member innings. Thank you very much. Uh, times three. Thank you, Diker. Cheers for the two years. Uh, cheers for the support as well, dude. That's the well. So I wonder if we might wait here and see if they show up. I also could use the well too, but not yet. I don't know who Emily Blunt is. Holy shit, Fiddy. How do you not know who Emily Blunt is? She's a goddess. Am I playing any other games at the minute? Only the one I played yesterday. I uh, I had a run on uh, Grey Zone Warfare. That, that was kind of fun. Uh, it's got a lot of progress to be made, but I enjoyed what I played of it yesterday. She's no Emma Watson. Thanks for twenty six months. Do I have permission to listen to this stream from the shower? Uh, only if you mute it while you clean your pee. And the cleaning takes less than 30 seconds. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Love the streams and videos. Ah, oh, I need to get my chair right. RDW, thank you for the 26 months. Tundra, thank you very much too. Kevin, I quite like that analogy. I'm not going to read it out. I like the analogy. I don't really like the analogy linked to uh, people necessarily, but I like the analogy nonetheless. Happy Twitch baby day. Where the hell is this dude? This is one of the things that can get a bit frustrating about, about the map, is that... We're basically a bit locked right now in terms of what we can do. We can't go anywhere. Hello? Hello? That's him. Ah! 
That's not fair. <laughs> let's let's call a truce, okay? I'll I'll call a truce there, all right? I put my gun away. Okay. Truce. Oh my god, I'm shitting myself. Yeah, okay. No more shooting from me. And not just because I haven't got any bullets. Right. That seems to be quite a lot of zombies. I don't know how I missed the first shot. It looked like it was on. And after that I was fucked. I had one chance to hit him in the head with the with the uh, with the hip fire. But I had to I had to take it. I was about to die and obviously I missed it. Got no more bullets. <laughs> My daughter's just sent me a text with a picture of uh, a sister going, she looks like Megamind. My God, that's <laughs> that's not nice. <laughs> she doesn't look like Megamind. I'm not going to kill you. I'm just sitting in here eating. My, my gun is away. Okay, I trust you. Ty, for your services, my favourite murderous talk show. Uh, I'm still in here, dude. Not not doing anything dangerous. These zombies need to fuck off. Yeah, there are too many. I agree. Far too many. Was that you shooting at the zombies earlier? Yes, I was uh, flashing red. Oh. Hell. He's told me he's flashing red now. I feel like I could go and take him. Right, I'm trying to deal with them one at a time, but it's tricky. I got one. There's too many. Zombies are too many. Have I got anything else that shoots? I haven't, have I? Yeah, uh, sorry about the uh, misfire kind of incident. It, you just surprised me is all, okay? <laughs> oh, all right. Just going to film a canteen up at the well. Don't shoot me. Oh. It turns out I'm drinking dirty water. That's good. Have you got a canteen? No. Um, Here you go. There was one in that house. Here you go. There, there was one in the building next door. I had I had one already. Oh, so. Cheers. I did just fill it. I think tripwires are a bit hit and miss, Gavin. I don't think you can What's plant them inside plans, buildings then? anymore. I don't know if it's a bug or not. Sorry, dude. What's your plans? I was just going that way to try and go to the airfield and then ultimately die whilst trying to find something that was actually worth having. That was my plan. Yeah, that was mine too, to be honest. Go towards the airfield. Yeah. I think that's where the good loot is. You can't find much in the way of, like, guns. Like, I've got uh, a, K a, a baby AK and a UMP, but no mags and no bullets, you know. 
But to find a gun that actually is worth having is quite hard, you know? They don't seem to spawn very much. Yeah. What gun is that on your back? Uh, the repeater? I've got some 9 mil if you want it. Yeah, I've got 9 mil. It's all good. I'm, I'm okay. I, yeah, I, I like trying to find things even like a repeater. Did you find that at a car or a truck or was it in a house? Yeah, it was at the back of a truck. That's what. That's where you normally find the odd gun. Like hard, hardly any in the houses at all. Well, dude, if you want to tag along, I feel like oh, there's a bike there. Look, there's oh, a yeah. dead zombie I've on the road. A few cars in there. Did that zombie? You didn't kill that zombie, did you? No, I, I didn't kill that. Like that's a bit of a worry then. It's a bit weird that zombie. What's going on there? I'm gonna go around to the left. I have seen a few cars. The car just up towards a point. I haven't played this game in ages, so I don't have any key finds. Um, I can't remember what point is either. What the fuck? There we go. It's F7. Oh, that way. F7 anyway. is pointing. Yeah, towards that way anyway. There's a car. Oh, yeah. Uh, Brewer, thank you for the 16 months. Cheers for the support, dude. Love your morally neutral playstyle. In your opinion, is Daisy becoming more KOS? Yes and no. Uh, I, I quite enjoy not knowing how I'm going to play. I'm not going to kill this guy now. I don't like pretending to be friendly and then changing my mind. That's a very, very I rare occurrence. Time out. What server are you on? What map are you playing? Your gun is on the wrong shoulder. Keep running, bugger. Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. But yeah, I, I, I think possibly it's got a little bit more KOSE since the modded maps came along, like Essica back in the day. I think it has a little bit. But I remember seeing people making videos about how Daisy was all KOS in 2015. I remember a video from Jamjar saying, I think the title of the video might have been Make Daisy Great Again. And I'm not saying he was wrong. He had his opinion, you know. He at the time felt that Daisy was becoming far too KOSE and was entitled to that view. But I didn't feel it was at the same time. I was getting plenty of interactions and stuff. I think, I think it was fine, you know. Love your morally neutral play style. In so, your opinion, is DayZ becoming more cost? We might both be is able to get on this. Is it turning more into a simple shooter than a survival game? That's a two-seater. It, it may be, but it, it's no, it's just a one. I think it's a death trap. Wait. I'm pretty sure these normally have a another seat. Nah, I think it's just the one. I'm coming back, I'm coming back. I just want to try it. Oh my god, it, it's making me a bit dizzy. Right, I just want to tr check something. Oh, it's got a push on the back. Yeah, I was hoping it might have a... Yeah, it doesn't. It's only got it's only got one seat. The, there's a snowmobile where if nobody's on it, you can get on the back. Obviously not snowmobile yeah. on this server, but... Well, that's You can sucks. go towards that car, because I think that car had... Um, I think the car had anything, everything. Alright, come Off on then. Feel. Lead the way. Was it in this town we were just at? Yeah, yeah, so just a bit further up towards the mountains. So we can cut oh, over okay. this mountain. You sound fucked, dude. Oh, I am. Uh, brain down, thank you very much. Robert, thank you very much too. That green, thank you very much. I think the game has got a little bit more KOSE since the advent of the modded maps, which were very much more PvP orientated. Even to a lesser extent, possibly Namask. I think it's marginally so. But if you play on a lightly modded or vanilla server, you've just as much chance of having a cool interaction then as now. You just have to not be afraid to talk in certain scenarios. For example, Enjoy in there, I, I was going to was trying to shoot that guy, and I shouldn't have done because he spoke. You know, I probably shouldn't have tried to shoot him, but I did, and then we've ended up teaming back anyway, which is kind of cool. 
Now, I know I've got a voice people recognise, and maybe it helps me, but if you keep your mic open and you stay in the spawn towns as a new spawn, you can team up with people almost whenever you want. Sometimes you get double-crossed, but most of the time you won't. Uh, Vicmore, thank you very much for the support, dude. Any advice going through a divorce, dude? It's, it's really hard. There, uh, Don't leave everything... <laughs> don't leave everything there. Make sure you split everything according to the law for a start. Which, uh, obviously, if there's kids involved, normally whoever keeps the kids gets more. That That's just the way it goes. But uh, any advice, get down the gym, focus on you is the best advice, you know. Make make yourself feel better. I need to go get down the gym anyway, not because of that, but because I'm too fucking fat right now. But nonetheless, uh, all you can do is work on you. And very soon, you'll, you'll be finding ways to be happy oh, that you're no. not expecting. Oh, there it is. Are they, they're military zombies there, aren't they? We Yeah, I passed through here We might be wise to shoot that kill them. Maybe not shoot them though, but uh, they might have a little bit of loot on them. Thank you for the for the membership, Graf. Hope it goes okay, dude. I've had maybe five friendly encounters in almost seven hundred hours. Depends how you play, Sam, and what server you play on. It really is a lot related to that, more so than people might realise, you know. If you go up to people fully geared and try and talk to them, like, at military bases, it's probably not going to go so well. Are they all that good than you? <laughs> Got the zombie musk. Right, I was trying to take that bag. I've dropped my bag on the ground, so uh, if you could kindly not steal it all, that'd be good. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, well. <laughs> I might be scouts, but yeah, I don't rob. <laughs> Thank you, Robot Lady, for another month of great entertainment. This is going to be fun. Oh, wow. Dude, look at that. You got any bandages, by the way? Uh, I have got... I'm not going to bandages. Yeah, I've got six. You can have half if you want. Cheers, dude. Oh, dude. It's a bit bouncy. I'm not going to drive it yet because I don't want it to like. I'll start it and it'll end up knocking into you or something. You want to get in the. I'll stand back then. Well, get in the passenger seat and then we'll be okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Sounds throaty. Oh, it needs water. <laughs> oh, Just let's. The well, isn't it? Yeah, well, let's, let's stop. We've both got a canteen, then we can drive. We can fill it with that. So if you jump out and just... Oh, it might, it might be water there, actually. Hang on. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's, it's got water in it. We just need to find where the radiator is. Yeah, there's water in here, so I can fill it from this. It's all good. Oh, sound. Holy shit, that took a lot of water. Oh, I don't know where that goes, let's just put it there. Right, now we should be good to go. We're straight to the airfield and respawns await. Oops. <laughs> Is Robot Lady hot? Uh, Robot lady's not interested, trust me. <laughs> oh, it's fast. Oh, my Jesus. God. He is fast, yeah. Not even got out of first gear yet. So, what's, what's your name, dude? My name's Dave. 
Uh, Owen. Oh, nice to meet you, Owen. Actually, some military there. We could loot it, or do you, should we just go straight to the airfield? That up to you, dude. I am. Uh, I want to trust. We might as well loot it. There's a couple of barracks. We might as well loot it. It's a bit dicey, this, but anyway. I've took the spark plug out. Oh, what's that? It's an SA-58. I'll leave you the tent and that building there. I'll go over the other side and check the thing over there. Okay. Oh, baby. SAV-58. Found an SKS. Ooh. Exactly what I thought. Uh, Robert, thank you. Pepsi lover, thank you very much for the support as well. Uh, cheers for the support, guys. Thank you. Uh, hi, Rush. How you doing? Hope you have a good day as well, dude. Could do with a press vest like the one what he's got. I'll worry about that in a minute. There are a couple of Quonset huts in the uh, in the base. Roger. There's the press rest I was hoping for. But the speed you're running, I think I can get there first and snag a little. It may not be worth it. Snag it all, I should have said, not snaggle. I don't know what snaggle is. A new top with more space. A little bit worried about my bandages. And the situation around that. We could do with resolving that somehow. That would be good. Uh, where did the gas... Yeah, it's gone on there. Well, well, almost at a year. And the content has only gotten better party popper. Keep up the Whoa. great work. Have a great stream. Thank you very much. Cheers for the kind words. Ah. I can't help but feel I'm getting slightly more of the loot than him. Did you find much? Just the um, SA-58? Yeah, I, the that, that, looking type. that was one. I don't know what bullets it takes. So I'll fi try and find out. Oh, hang on. Let's try to make sure I didn't hit you. I don't know. It doesn't say in the description what it takes. I've got a uh, 74 mag. I'll just see if it takes that. It doesn't. It must take a like an AKM mag or something like that, I would guess. You don't have a weapon cleaning kit by any chance, do you? I actually do, yeah. 
I wouldn't mind a go if you don't mind. I've got a SKS. I'll do a I'll do a fair trade with you for a use of your cleaning kit. You can have as soon as I were in the spirit of not shooting each other now, if you want to use that, there's a few bullets in it you can have a go with if you like. Oh bro. Not not many though, but we're sure I'm sure we'll get more. Sunday night, thank you for the Watch prime. Out for Coastal, thank you very much. Blood bag. Cheers for the support, dude. Know me, thank you. Uh, Robert, thanks again. TRMZ love, TRMZ love. It won't be 308, no way. Right, there's the cleaning kit bad dude. Thank you. Uh, Michael, it can't be official, dude. There's no official servers except for on Chernerus and Livonia, dude. They're the only two servers that can be official. I think that's it for the military. We might as well get back in the car and uh, try and get to the airbase, I suppose. It's not very far away, but yeah. might, may as well drive it. Find the sweet spot. There we go. Don't know what's going on here. It won't start. I didn't get the spark well, plug in properly. Maybe. Yeah, I didn't put the spark plug in properly. I thought I dragged it in, but it did go in. <laughs> I think we could probably go off road. I think it's this yeah, way. Yeah, 100%. Man, this is quick. Holy shit. Go, go, go! Fucking hell, I feel like I'm gonna die. I was just trying to. Ah! I was hoping that would be a ramp. That's a bad thing, Jesus. Like a glove. This is fine. We didn't even get injured, dude. It was fine. Right, we might as well loot this bit on the left here. There's quite a lot of tents and stuff. We'll get some good stuff if we don't die. What the fuck? Looks like we're getting out there. Like a glove. Was fun. That that beach buggy is something else. It's quick as fook. Right. Oh, I oh, need that. Dude, that's a big old boy. Yeah. Oh, there's, there's another big old boy on the floor. If you want it, I might be alright with this one. Oh, I've just found, two. found a plate carrier. We don't get killed. The loot here is going to be good. You can tell.
I did just drop a Sega mag, but I don't really want the Sega anyway. Sega can get fucked. Play more? I would like that, but no room. Vega, I haven't seen one of them in ages. Right, must loot. Must loot quicker than him. Take all the gear. There's a box of SKS rounds there. Have. Yes, please. Yes, have some. Ten round mag for a DMR. I would like to be white health. Maybe should have been a bit more careful in the car. VSS. Vega mag. I might go and give him that. There's a some rounds here for you, SKS. Oh, nice, dude. There's a human organ cooler here. I don't know quite what we would need that for, but it looks good. I did just find a mag for that Vega. I don't know if you took the Vega or not. Uh, nah. I've found an AK, though. Oh, that'll go with your mag. Well, won't it? Yeah, I'll drop that Vega mag then. I don't think I want it. Uh, yeah, I, I just found a box of SK rounds as well, but that's pretty cool. Thank you. The SKS rounds? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a really dangerous thing to say, but I'm surprised how quiet it is considering where we, where we are. Yeah, I was shocked to be honest. So the SAV58 takes SKS rounds too, so it's going to take AKM mags or it might have its own special mag, but we might find those here maybe. really could do without being yellow. This is actually medical loot. That's medical as well. Oh, these are all Hello, medical. Friendly. Yeah, friendly. How are we Hello. doing, guys? Hi, uh, you alright, dude? How are you, mate? How are we doing? Yeah, we're oh, alright. Fuck. We ain't looking for no you trouble. Know, you know each other? Yeah, we were together. We well, yeah, we yeah, bumped, we we bumped into each other down the road. Yeah, so we, we know. We met before. Oh, okay. You've got a great big bag as well. Holy shit. I just found it on the floor. Yeah, we, there, we, yeah. we saw it as well. Yeah, same one. Oh, you left it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty quiet here. I was expecting. Hey, Paul, love your vids. Thanks for making days fun for me, Grin. No way. Did you see it on the ground? Did you see it on the ground? I think it was on the ground. I think that was a mine. It was definitely an explosion, but because it was like literally underneath me, I think it was a mine. That sucks. Right, while the UI dead screens up, I'm gonna quickly go and uh, I'm gonna go and get a couple of headache pills. I might make another tea for the caffeine. Uh, I've got a little bit of a headache. Don't know why. I actually slept fairly well last night, but before someone tells me, I've been drinking quite a lot. Don't worry. Don't worry. I don't think it was a claymore. It, it wasn't a tripwire. It had to be a mine. You'll probably see it on the ground. It won't have killed my partner. It'll have killed the other guy, the one that it might have killed him. But my friend will still be alive. That sucks. That well, really you got blown up. Sucks. Better luck the problem with Takistan is wherever you spawn, there's a massive run to get to anywhere good. Uh, it almost puts me off doing another Takistan, makes me want to do something else, but I'll probably persist with this. I'll probably carry on with Takistan for now. Uh, there was a lot of claymores knocking around. It could have been a player holding a claymore, which would be really cool if it was. But if, you, if there's a clip of it, we'll probably be able to see... Uh, Fuzzy Babes has got a clip. Hang on, let me just play it. Oh, you left. Let's, uh... Let's see. Uh... Pretty quiet here, Rosie. 
Okay. I, I don't see it. It's pretty quiet. Here Where are you looking? You can see a mine. From top right as you pass the tent. Okay. It's pretty quiet. I can't see where what I'm standing on. Twenty-three months. Woohoo, mother truckers. It's pretty quiet. Wait, that thing that just flew over is not a grenade, by the way. I think it must be right on the floor, but I can't see it in the grass. He didn't throw a grenade. That that you've just seen is just a leaf. People think they're grenades. That's not a grenade. It's on the ground. It's not a grenade. You hear the grenade land, by the way, as well. So when someone throws a grenade now, it lands on the ground. You hear it land. You hear it chink, 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 then you die. It wasn't a grenade. Uh, it's and People see those little things. When you're playing the game, you see little flits of leaves and different bits floating around. That's not a grenade. It's got to be a grenade. It's got to be a mine on the ground, and I'm not seeing it very well. But it has to be just there. They're so small, though, I can't see it. It, it has to be just somewhere around here, but I can't see the fucker. Oh, for fuck's sake. One more try. It's somewhere around here. Is that it there? I don't know if that's it. There's something there. Anyway, I'm dead. <laughs> that's what it matters. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Again. Right, uh, guys, I'm going to quickly make a tea, get some headache pills, and I'll be back. Won't be long. Uh, Johnny Twitch, thank you for the 40 months. Golden Age, Twisted Technician, Rolling Wolf, Scotty. Uh, thanks, Scotty, again. Thank you very much.
depressing sight of you are dead. James, I uh, I stood on a uh, I stood on a mine. I think from what I know. Just saw the mine and made a link to the pick. Okay, let's have a look. T R M Z F M D. T R M Z F M D. Never mind. Right. Well, I have one more go. I have one more life on this, and I think we're going to switch to uh, another map or something different. Whatever. Where are we? Seems all roads lead to the same place. You tend to be spawning in the same kind of place. I guess the idea is that you've had a plane crash, right? It's, I like this variance between spawns. Sometimes you get, like, this time I've got slightly less food, but I've got better water. Mm, there's the town. Well, there's some houses anyway. Let's just uh, try and work out where we are. So there's more houses there, so I think we're on yeah, we're on the edge of these houses. That's those houses, so I'm going south there. I want to go the other way. I want to go this way. This must be north. I, I'm, so last time we went south and we went to the other airfield. This time I think I'm going to come the other way. We're going to go this way and have a look the other way. It seems the meta to me is to just try and find a vehicle and then drive to the cool spots, you know. So we'll try and do that maybe. We'll see. Thank you, Skiller. Yeah, it was... Uh, Hang on one sec. The thumbnail was made by a viewer who was in yesterday. And I'm terrible with names, so I ought to say their name at least once today, so I'll do it now. I don't want to get it wrong, so let me just double check in my little folder, because it's actually it's on the thumbnail, so you can see it on the thumbnail anyway. Uh, simulation Gamer, yeah. Double checking, I hadn't remembered it wrong, and I was right, so I should have just said it. Simulation Gamer was the name. Uh, SM, I've no idea what context you're talking about, but uh, you won't have been kicked from the Discord for saying that. Unless it was completely out of the blue. Unfortunately, dude, we get trolls coming. Thank you for the tip, I guess. I get trolls coming saying, like, coming into the Discord or coming to a chat and just going, I'm gay, and that's the first message they've ever made. Well, that, that's what trolls do, I'm sorry to say. Nothing wrong with being gay. But people that just go to discords to type something like that with no context are invariably trolls and that's it. So uh, I can't refund your, your super chat because it's handled by a YouTube. If it was a Twitch tip or sorry, a, a regular tip, I'd refund that one. But people get kicked from the YouTube, uh, from the discord for being trolls, not for just saying things. Disinfected. Like, there needs to be context hey behind man, things, otherwise it, it can just be taken as, uh... I was kicked from the Discord just for saying I love being black made me feel uncomfortable, NGL. There we go. Yeah, that's the message I was talking about. Uh, out of context, it looks like a, a, a strange thing to just open with, right? <coughs> kind of cool that we've got a, uh... Uh, Gorilla Leader, thank you for the bits. I don't, I'm not going to lie, Takistan is not my favourite map, but the opportunity to play it while it's full seems too good to turn down, which is what we're doing for today, right? I, it seems too good of an opportunity to miss. We might as well try it while we can. But uh, Takistan is not my favourite by any stretch of the imagination. What happens if you really are a troll? Yes, yeah, kicked. I'm trollist. G. Simmons, thank you for the 17 months. Welder, thank you very much. Johnny Twitch, thank you as well. Uh, cheers for the support, guys. Right, so where are we now? We are here. So, Feruza, F... Yeah, I just need to go over the hill here, pretty much. Dodder, that is. Yeah. Somewhere around here. Joseph, I don't normally say what server I'm on, but it's pretty obvious, this one. So, yeah, I'm on the Freshborn server today. Left more? I don't think so. I think we're going dead on. Maybe I already turned left a bit more. 
I'm a ventriloquist. <laughs> I don't think that's how you spell ventriloquist. Ventriloquist. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> you can set markers. I'm not going to set a marker. I'm using the map, but I think if you if you set a marker, it it takes away your ability to learn the map in a way that doing it this way does not. I know I know I'm using this, but if if you set off from a building and you're doing it with a line of sight next time you play you'll remember what you did whereas if you set a marker it's a bit like using a sat nav in your car you don't remember what you're doing you just follow what the sat nav says does that make sense so i i, I don't use the markers anyway i play at 1440 cj so we just heard a shot i wouldn't be surprised if the shot was actually here so we may well, we may well be dying in a second I would be surprised if there's much loot here on the basis that it's so close to the spawn. It's all people's dropped off shit where they've picked up other shit. Someone had had so much loot they could afford to drop the chicken. Lucky bastard. My god, this is smooth as butter today. It's so good. It, like, the changes I've made to OBS have fixed it. I'm sure they have. Oh, that's nice. him all in middle bunker. Nah, it'll just be people's drop crap that they didn't like. But the helmet and the vest on this one is good news. Fuck. Close in the wall. Not there. I ain't seen shit. Here's a question for YouTube chatters, right? Do you know or do you not? Like, when you're watching on YouTube, in the bottom right hand corner of the chat box, there is a little heart, right? But it's covering up the very bottom message. I'm, message. I'm not seeing all of the message. How do I get rid of the heart? It's really pissing me off. Yeah, that one you're clicking. I'm not asking you to click it, although it's now going crazy, which I'm very appreciative of. Thank you. But you can't get rid of that heart. How annoying is that? When somebody writes a vaguely long message, you can't read the fucking words. That's so stupid. So I managed to avoid the dude. We've found some good stuff, considering... That's some kind of modded mag. I thought it was a foul mag, but it's not. Can't get up there. It won't let me. No, because you got a fat head. You've got a fat ass. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. We should be friends. Look, would you like a sleepy bunny? What is it? Sleepy. It says you can unpin it. It's a bunny. It can't <laughs> uh, yeah, be. It's I'd a bunny. Yeah, love a sleepy bunny. It's a bunny. It I'd love a sleepy bunny, please. All right, here you go. Can I have it? Can I have it? Yeah, there you go. Just for me. <laughs> Holy shit! It's blinded me as well. can't see a thing. Uh, JV, thank you for the new sub. SM, thank you very much as well. Hello. Love you. Bye.
uh alexander thank you for the sub on youtube robert uh oh gray love it oh i'm having in, i'm having uh yorkshire gold thank you very much robert tasteless foxy all the platonics jv thank you for the new sub i thought i might be getting far enough away there but if that's knocked me unconscious what's it done to him you okay It's killed him. I didn't think... I. How was I to know that? That was clearly completely unintentional, by the way. How was I to know that that would happen? I feel completely innocent in this in this murder. It's, it's only murdered the guy. Fuck me. That's insane. <laughs> I suspect he possibly knew what was going to happen with that bunny as well, maybe. Like, you'd think of anyone, he'd be the likely one to know what would happen with a bunny such as that. Hello. You alright? I'm, I'm not intending on coming down anytime soon. God, that sleeping bunny is cool. When it unpinned, I was like, well, maybe it's a flashbang. It turns out it's some kind of flashbang and uncon and grenade or something. I don't know. There's a, there's a fella there. Look, they've got a gun. That was fun. I like the sleeping bunny. We need to give the sleeping bunny treatment to others. Here, have a sleeping bunny, we'll say. Alright, we're going to have to get rid of that. shot wasn't at me. He must have been at a player. He was only just behind there. landed on the floor. Oh my god, this is so weird. Where did the dude go? Oh my god, that was a good shot. He wasn't even aiming when I when I was there. I saw the guy on the hill, so I was trying to run to sort towards some kind of building. Oh my god. It's time to start running. We're okay. We're still in the game. Still there. Is that him? There's no gun on that guy. There's no gun. Come on. Show me the weapon. It has to be the same player. They're just in a bush where I can't see them. They'll be in the front of that bush there, but I can't four waste a shot. I've only got four. Upon the running man. It's been good fun. Here's to the next four oh, yards. I've just seen them for a sec. <sighs> yeah, there's a gun in hand now. <gasps> 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 ha! 
how cool did that sound? <gasps> oh man, that sounds so good. I wish I had more shots. There was somebody shooting nearby as well. gone up and to the left a little bit yet. I'm going to go after him with my two shots. I've got a plate carrier. It'll be okay. They're still on the edge of this ridge as far as I know. Certainly got into action fairly quickly I would say. I don't know if they stopped or if they carried on. I feel like two shots is going to require a level of accuracy that I'm unlikely to deliver. him with that last shot I hit him but that, that wasn't enough <sighs> he it quick switched to his secondary so quickly there that was insane I did hit him with the shot but having two I had to be sure of hitting the first one didn't really have a great deal of choice but to take my time I had to hit the shot and I did so you saw him sort of snip switch back a little bit but it just wasn't enough you know it was a tricky uh, tricky situation I think that's gonna be a challenge on this one with the way the spawns are you know like with the, with this map, you you always spawn somewhere in on this side or somewhere on this side normally, and it's the biggest problem with the map is that you can spawn kind of around here, and on all around here, Hatcherman, and all around there. So you spawn tend to spawn around there, or around here normally, but most of the the best two places to loot are the top and the top, right? But the military base in the centre is a clusterfuck anyway on regular maps, but on this, everyone's spawning around here. So these two places are going to be like we just saw, you know, they're going to be horrendous. Uh, which is good, great fun. You can spawn in and, and instantly get some shooting going, but you, you're you not going to find a great deal of loot, you know, like you're not going to be looted. To have an SKS and four bullets and a plate carrier and a helmet was pretty good going, I would say. But it's uh, it doesn't make for an easy time of it, you know. It makes for a bit of a strange loot uh, economy, I suppose, or a... It's not really even a loot route as such, is it? You know, you just uh, you just have to just try and kill someone, then you get. Uh, Jenkins, thank you for the thirty months. Cheers for the support. Yorkshire Gold's amazing. I loves it. It's only any good if you like English breakfast tea, though. I suppose like regular tea. Eating leftover chicken jowl frazy. Mm -hmm. That's what I had last time I had a curry. It was kind of okay, but I've, I've gone a little bit off curries lately. I like like takeaway curries anyway. I had one probably about this time last year, and it made me so ill. I got so ill on it, and it just put me off. Right, so... I'm actually going to use the compass. That's east, that's north. Is that a proper helicopter crash site there? I think I'm just going to go north. That's not a crush shot. Fuck knows what that is, but we're going to go and have a look. You lose so prior, drop, kick all my shit. Well, to be fair, dude, in that scenario, I'd only been alive about ten minutes, and I'd already killed somebody with a fucking sleeping bunny, you know? It, I felt fairly fulfilled for the ten minutes or twenty minutes I've been alive. It was fine. Not so frustrating as being on a longer life where I step on a mine whilst talking to two friendly players. That The first death was much more harsh, harsh and annoying, you know? Uh, Dubs, the, the general consensus, consensus in the chat was that it was George. I did think it was uh, one of the fresh spawns, but I'm not very good with voices. I'm, I'm not great, but yeah, I think it was. 
that a Volt suit I'm wearing? No. It's a, Mo a Rolex Z Blue Milgauss Appreciation Society jacket. That's what it is. It say Dragon. Uh, cheers for the support. Chalky, hope you're good, dude. Four year inning. Hope you're good. Thank you very much. Cheers for tuning in for four years, dude. Thank you. Roadman, thank you for the 30 months as well. I bet he's away thinking I met Jack. I just met Jack Frags. Yeah. That's sort of what you need for Prague. What? Uh, what, this kind of stuff you mean? Okay. I don't know. It's a truck. That doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. It's two separate trucks. I thought it was some kind of like push me pull with you with a cab on each side. That wouldn't have made any sense, would it? Oh, well. Fala, Bastam. Yeah, we're going to go to Rasmen Airfield. I'm not going back to where I died. I, I just, I can't be fucked to just repeat the same thing. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm not a massive fan of Takistan. Already, I'm thinking I should just switch to another map. But there's going to be very rare opportunities to play it, so I ought to stick with it a little bit longer, really. What is Karma Crew Daisy? Uh, well, Karma Crew was originally a stream team hosted by Minder. Uh, and so the original four members of the Karma Crew stream team were Minder, Septic Falcon, Wobo, and myself, I think. I think they were the original four. No, it wasn't. It wasn't Wobo. Wobo came late. It was someone called Snafty. Snafty was the, one of the original four members. Uh, so it, it was a stream team in 2015. Minder started hosting his own servers, and with some members of the stream team then, they, they all kind of co-hosted the, the servers. Now it isn't a stream team anymore, and I think Minder is kind of mostly responsible for the servers, along with the, whoever helps him on the, the servers. There's several people. Uh, but yeah, uh, that that's who the Karma Crew are. On PC, they're kind of well known for hosting uh, various different servers. No BR. You say no BR, that's just going to make me do it more, Crown. Jam, jam Jar was red zone, yeah. There's more smoke up there, but that looks like another one of those. I, I, I don't feel like we're going to find anything at these. Like, that's another... I'm not sure how two trucks, two articulated trucks, are getting onto the edge of the hills like that, you know? I'm not quite understanding how they achieved that. <laughs> What's BR? Battle Royale. Defo. Anyone can play the Battle Royale, Vigrid. The details are in the uh, message just below yours, pretty much. In fact, Fronk's even added you, so you'll you'll see the message. They crash-landed there, yeah. The, the flying tankers. Yeah, Frosty, I like the look of Takistan. I love the way it looks, but I, the, the looting and the economy of Takistan doesn't work for me. Someone running down the road. Well... That's okay. We'll just go this way. There's actually a little military base up up this way. Just well, it, it's not really military, but there's a camo building and a couple of other things. Maybe we'll get lucky. One of the things that happens here is if you're really close to the hills, you can't actually see that smoke. So maybe nobody's seen it maybe we'll go up there and we'll find some fat fat loops we did see a helicopter that was a bit like one of these and all it had at it was a uh, was a bottle was a jerry can with water in it so there's every chance there's fuck all in this i suppose will you stream when 125 drops uh unless i'm in uh, czech republic yeah I certainly intend to be streaming the day that 125 drops, of course. It's only a fairly small incremental update, 125, but there's some cool stuff in it. They're, like, one or two of the bug fixes are pretty cool. Uh, the new gun will be interesting. It's disappointing that it takes the uh, the same scopes as the DMR and the FAL. I, I was hoping they would add a new scope. 
I, I'm not surprised they haven't, but I, I really hope I, I might try to talk the, the dead devs into adding some kind of spectroscope or something like that when when I go to uh, when I go to Prague. It might make the DMR a bit OP in vanilla though, but. <clears throat> What's my favourite map? Cable, I don't really have a favourite map, but have, if I had to play one map forever, I'd probably pick Chernerus. I think it's just despawned. Oh no, just the wind changed. So this is a plane crash. This might be where people can spawn. This might just be another spawn point, and I've just ran all this way, and it's a fucking spawn point. It may not be. We'll soon find out. bit like an Antonov. It is an Antonov, I think. Maybe not. It's hard to tell on account of the nose being buried. I think it is an Antonov. Maybe not. It would look bigger than that in real life, I think. Might not be to scale. We'd best not worry too much about what it is. We'll end up with some three-day conversation about what plane it is. You, uh, some of you that followed me on Twitter may have may have seen me talking about assault rifles the other day briefly, just as a bit of a off the cuff thing. Uh, they're still going in that thread. <laughs> Last night they're still going. Uh, you can't. They can't help themselves. Uh, they can't help themselves. The uh, the, the the gun uh, hobbyists, let's say. Like it, it was about six days ago, and they're still tit for tat discussing it. <laughs> Am I a plane guy? I mean, I mean, I'm come more of a plane not crashing guy. I don't, I'm a bit afraid of flying. I'm a bit afraid of, of flying, to be honest. But so I'm, I'm not particularly looking forward to the flight to Prague. It's only an hour and fifty minutes, but it'll be the first time I've ever flown truly on my own. I. Uh, I went on a holiday where it was me and a few mates going to Magaluf, and so I was with mates. In fact, half of the pub went. There was like 30 of us that went, but a few people I knew, and we all kind of palled together and whatnot. But uh, other than that, I've always flown, like, I've, I've flown with my missus. We've flown to India and New York and Rome. Uh, but flying on my own, I'm a little bit, not f well, I guess fearful is the right word. I'm not exactly looking forward to it. Let's put it that way. That's the hill where I died down there. So I've actually come back where I didn't really mean to. This used to have a camo bit. The camo building's there, I just can't see it. Uh, Terry, thank you for the support. Uh, cheers for the, for the follow on YouTube, dude. Very kind, thank you. See at the back, planes don't reverse into mountains. To be honest, if it hits a mountain, I think where I sit is going to be the least of my worries. I'm pla traveling via plane is about as safe as you can travel. It's much safer than a car. I get in a car quite often, you know, but that's by the by. It's more the fact that if a car breaks down, you're on ground, whereas if a plane breaks down, you're like 30 odd thousand feet into the air, you know, like. That's the bit that worries me. Robert, I have uh, I have milk in uh, in the tea I have. It's like English breakfast tea. It's just regular tea. It's meant to have milk and sugar if it's your taste. But milk is kind of meant to be in it, as far as I'm concerned, dude. It's the way you drive. Well, I drive. Like I don't know. You can have an accident no matter how good of a driver you are. But I've, I've been driving. Now, this might seem hard to believe given that I'm 38. But this is the 30th year that I've been able to drive. I passed my test in October 1994. It might seem hard to believe, but I was a very good driver when I was a lad, and they let me take it when I was eight. What can I say, you know? Like, can't can't help that, can I? What is this? It's another one of those. Yes, comedy grenades. So, yeah, I... Uh, I've, I've been driving 30 years so far, and this is, I'm like, uh, I hope I'm not tenting fate. I've never had an accident on the road in 30 years.
Terry, thank you again. Confused Ghoul, thank you very much too. I wasn't really paying attention there, but there we are. Might need that. Can use it to make a... Uh, make a knife. I might go and try and loot my body. I like that helmet. Wow, a Mosin. Hello. Um, there's there's a dude in here, and I'm friendly. I ain't oh, I'm friendly, man. Yeah, I ain't looking for any trouble. No yeah, trouble. Okay, no trouble from me. <sighs> Did you go? Hello. A bit sketchy. Isn't it? Hello, man. You're all right, dude. You seen this thing? Do you know what, what these do? Do you know what these do? Isn't it a great? Well, I, that's what I'm trying to work out. I've only just joined the server. I'm what? Yeah, I had one before. Like, it's a sleepy Don't spud. Throw it at me, man. No, it's all right. I, 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 yeah, it's a grenade. It's a grenade. What? An, like a proper grenade that blows like a normal grenade. Yeah. Holy shit! Okay. Hello? Dude, do you know Hello, where I can? Man. Do you know where I can get some gear? I think there's somebody else. Hello. Shit. Hello. Hey, I, I've got. Hello, some man. I'm up for your rifles if you. Oh, thank I, you. I can't put my gun away because I have three guns. I'm sorry. No worries. I'm not. It's all right. it's all right. I, I am. As friendly. long as you don't aim, it's all right. Do you know what these do? Uh, is that? Can you eat that? It's a spud. How do you want to try? I don't know. Yo, do you know I the map? Well? Is there good not, loot no at the radar station? Right. You what? Oh uh, what? Is there good uh, loot at the radar station? Or I don't know. I'm no clue. Uh, I don't know. You look pretty geared. We all. <laughs> How much range is that? <laughs> I don't trust the younger one. He's going to still be alive. Spud them, Dave. Yeah, -E press and held G to drop it next to him. Uh, yay, thank you for the 14 months. Cheers for the support, dude. Yeah, I unpinned it in the, in the building. I should think the other fella might just try to kill me, but we'll see. What are you doing, bro? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, fucking he is good, isn't he? He is really good. How did he... Like, he, he was talking before he could see me, that guy. That's a bit interesting. I'm sure he is legit, but he was talking before he could see me there. Like, like... Yeah, anyway. I, he, may, he may just be very young and very good, but... Maybe he could see me and I didn't realise, but yeah. It's like he could see me from around the corner. Uh, I, I think I think I'm going to call it there on Techistan and do something else. It's actually quite fun. I like I like little silly things like those grenades and stuff. It's kind of fun. But if you look at the movement of the other players, it's a little bit skippy. It's not very smooth. You've probably seen it. Hopefully you'll have noticed it just then before I uh, caused that mayhem. It, it's a little bit skippy. It's a little bit not quite right. And. Uh, I don't see the point in trying to get really, really geared. I'm not trying to criticise, by the way. They're trying to do an awful lot with that server. There's 80 people in it. There's a load of extra things and a load of extra mods. And there's probably a big queue as well as 80 people. So it's really hard to make servers run. And so, yeah, maybe that's why. You know, 80 people plus maybe 20 in a queue. That's going to cause some challenges, I should think, for a server. So, yeah, I just think 
Like, if I got really invested and I got three or four hours into a character, I, I don't really, I don't really feel it. You know, I, I'm going to end up shooting at people that are skipping around the place. You know, it doesn't seem so worth it. Uh, just trying to work out what we switch to. I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking we might do Bitterroot, perhaps. Uh, in fact, I think I am going to do Bitterroot. Uh, so, let me just see if I can work out how I change the title of the stream. Hey boss, not here as much as I would like these days, but great to see TRMZ Industries going from strength to strength. Thank you. Unlike uh, Liverpool, TRMZ <laughs> FMD. Definitely unlike Liverpool, yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I don't think he knew where the other guy was. I, I think he was legit, but he probably just knew where I'd ran to and knew I'd be unconscious as well, I suspect. But Has the dear Al era kind of died out? I think, Frosty, there's a lot of new choices right now. It's It's been the Easter holidays, and a lot of maps have been up for testing, like New York and Bitterroot and Scalar Uh I can say for me personally that as much as dear Al is a truly wonderful map, the uh, challenge of completing the uh, the the adventure in order to get the uh, the powerful guns like the snow owl has become so impossible to do as a lone wolf that it's kind of put me off doing it at all. Uh, maybe that's because I'm not prepared to put the effort in, perhaps, but I just can't be bothered. I cannot be asked with the challenge of that. It's too much. I, I, I think I could do it if I tried Moolander, but doing the other way, doing it the other way took me uh, about six weeks to do it properly. Doing it this way, just it just seems like nigh on impossible. When's the next big update, Daisy? The, uh, Daisy JP, the next update won't be too huge, I don't think. So it will be after that. Who knows? Maybe it might not be 126, but I think a lot of people are hoping it might be 126. Uh, and I'm guessing that would probably come if the new patch isn't dropped yet and we're getting on for... Certainly it's not going to drop until May. It might not drop till June. I would put that as being somewhere around August to September or maybe later still. It's hard to know. Uh, Robert, thank you very much for the gifted member innings, dude. That's really, really kind. Thank you very much. Right on there. Well, I can still have them anyway. That's the main thing. Uh, thank you very much once again, Robert. Uh, Ebram, thank you very much for the little sly dig there, as well as the resub. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Uh, uh, CBW, yay, and, and Foxbat. Cheers, all of you. Thank you very much. Somebody's dead next door. been killed by someone clearly you know they, they didn't i don't think they suicided they might have been killed by zombies but I, i'm guessing they got has been murdered. recovering from surgery so i've been with him 24 7 watching your content <coughs> thanks well thank you i hope, hope all is going well venge cheers for the resub i hope everything goes well uh surgery that sucks hopefully you've got insurance and it's not costing an arm and a leg another month Another sub pull. Hi Amber, hope you're good. Keep on running, dude. I'm gonna try and clean my monitor whilst we jog. I need to just open up a thing. The sun's shining onto the monitor from behind me, and it's really glaringly, obviously, fucking filthy. So I'm just gonna try and have a look.
This is the most modded gameplay I've seen from you. Joe, this is just the, the way Bitterroot looks. It's not modded at all. Well, it is modded, but uh, Bitterroot is a modded map. I've played this quite a lot. It's not new. It's not, well, the map is relatively new, but it's not new to me. I've played it quite a lot over the time they've been doing tests. I, uh... I, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I I don't think it's that modded. It's it's uh, not infinite stamina. There's no trader bases. There's no map now, so you can't press M and see a map. The Takistan server I was just on was more modded than this, for example. Uh, because you could just press M to see where you are and then easily navigate around. You know, you can't do that here. If you want to have a map, you've got to go and loot one. Your name is in one of the murals of the town. Sean, I believe that mural, which is in the new big town, is for backers. So if you've supported uh, Matty Ice in creating this map, then your name goes on the mural. So if you look at the top of the mural, you'll see something about the description. It's something about what tier backer you are or something like that. But, uh, if you're enjoying modded maps, try to support the modded map creator a little bit, basically, is the, the context there, really. The BR just isn't few. I love it. The BR is incredibly addictive, but I, I just want to try and do survival a bit today. I'm not streaming tomorrow. On Sunday, as long as I get in, and at the moment I believe I'm second reserve, I'm, I'm going to be doing the uh, the Namowsk 30-player PvP event. It's on Sunday the 21st, so I, I might do some Battle Royale when I get knocked out of that, but for now I think we'll just uh, stick as we are. What's thoughts on yesterday's games? Rhubarb, I think there's there's a lot of interest there. I think it's a good idea, but it needs some fleshing out. It needs some work. I, I th but it's it's not even early access yet. It's like a trial before early access. There are things that I liked about it. I, I, I enjoy the feel of it, and it does feel like a, a, a good game. It feels like it sits well between Tarkov and Armour. The idea is good, but the execution needs a lot of work at the moment, you know? Map needs to be updated to Bitterroot. It probably is updated, Louis. You just need to leave and come back. Uh, I think I saw... I could be wrong, but I think I saw Pinkster doing it. Thank you, Pinkster, if you've done it. Funny. I think it has been updated, dude. That was on YouTube. I think Pinkster updated it on YouTube, and I think Redline probably did on Twitch. Thanks for all the content. The embroidered jacket on your merch store is still my favourite light rain jacket. Very cool. I could have I could have do with one of them for. Uh, I wish I'd known like, earlier. I could have ordered one of those and took it going to uh, Czech Republic in a couple of weeks. Look in, look in the controls at change reticle. Frosty, yeah, that's not a bad shout. I just ended up using the ACOG because the other one was so bad, you know, but it was fine. Will I be shoutcasting anymore? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going in the next event, so I won't be shoutcasting it. I'm going in it. Unless I don't get in. But all being well, I should be in it. So, we'll see. <laughs> What time does the event start? It'll be 3 p.m. UK time, which is about 11 o'clock Eastern America time. 11 a.m. I'm not going to bother looting these. They're shit, aren't they? Let's go this way. Almost at a year. The ADS with Iron Sight seemed very distant. I, I quite enjoyed the shooting a little bit. I, I couldn't... It was running like an absolute turd for me, but I think that was a lot to do with how I'm streaming. Like, my game is much smoother today on Daisy than it's been for about two or three months. Uh, so I think my... Like, the changes I've made to OBS last night and this morning have made a huge difference. So, uh, I'm very pleased about that. I ain't going to lie. But, yeah, I don't know. We'll... Uh, I, I, I wouldn't mind playing it again. I don't really want to play it today, I don't think. I think I'm just going to stick with Daisy. 
Um, with you already qualified, are you going full win? I don't know. I, I, I might just try and get to the latter stages. I have, I've not really got any idea yet at all. I, I don't know what my tactics will be. See how I feel on the day. I'll probably just go in and see see where the see where the luck takes me, as it were. You know. I've not got. I've not given it a second thought. I actually didn't realise it was Sunday until uh, you can actually eat burnt meat. Believe it or not, my source from that is Wobo. I'm going to try it just just to see. In one of Rope Wobo's recent videos, he said you could eat burnt meat as long as you do it slowly. You can eat one piece at a time. Obviously, that's a big piece, so I won't be able to eat one piece. But if I just eat a little bit, apparently you don't get sick. I'm going to eat a quarter. And then I'm not going to eat any for ages. This is more of an experiment than anything else, because I can't remember exactly what Wobo said in his video, but apparently you can eat it, so let's just see. Oh, bitter, uh, sorry, the title's changed now. Thank you, Pinkster. So the title's changed now. Thanks very much. Well, the thumbnail is kind of, like, more generic, so it should be okay, Pinkster. Uh, well, the, the dog is fine, Ollie. That's just like a, a balloon. Sorry, that's a balloon. That's just like a Daisy-esque screenshot. That's fine. But yeah, thank you, Pinkster. I thought it had already been done, but it's been done now. Missed the bike helmet. No, I didn't take the bike helmet. Bike helmets obscure your view, right? Wobo said it only applies to veggies. Did he? Oh, well. I might have got that wrong then. Wasn't there a water canteen in the fridge in the last house? Maybe. I didn't see it, but never mind. Actually not exactly sure where we are. Really struggling to see my monitor at the moment. This was the last house. I'll have a quick look. So I'll probably get sick then. If I do, that's going to be an absolute... Nightmare. Yeah, the helmet, just coming back to whether I missed the helmet or not. When you wear a helmet, it obscures your view. I, I'm not really one for one for wearing that. It doesn't seem to be much of a good reason to wear that. What's up, Paul? Haven't caught you in a minute, but stop by to say have a good day, brother. Javier, thank you. Cheers for coming in. Thank you for the for the uh, resubscribing, dude. Thank you very much. I'm going to get sick then for sure. That's oh, there's there's the. You must have meant that one. It was a premonition. This way. I'm finding convoys a lot more than usual, and I the only one. And happy fifth. I think you're probably just getting lucky, dude. I don't think they've changed the spawning of convoys. Sometimes community servers might increase them, I guess, but you might just be having a run of good luck, or good good luck, or maybe because you're familiar with where they spawn now, you're finding them more. You know, if you play official and you go to where the convoys spawn, you will find them really quite quickly. You know, like. That, that you, you seem to find them fairly regularly, but you have to know where they are. You know that that's the one neat trick uh, convoy hiders don't want you to know. <laughs> so if if you know where to look, you tend to you do tend to find them fairly sharpish. I should think it's probably more likely that than anything else. They call me the Bushmaster. Right, where was the one with the well again? Oh, we might as well loot these two. It's that it's that one there, isn't it? <laughs> I hear a cow. BK18. I've got space to take all of them, really, haven't I? Might as well. I'm not 
not sure I really want the, bl the blue and white helmet so much, but we might as well have it, I suppose. How can I become a member of the channel? Membership costs £3.99, dude, or equivalent in your currency if you're not in the UK. Uh, so if you're relatively new to YouTube, don't don't worry about trying to become a member. There's no, You can watch for free. There's no charge to watch. Uh, if you're a member, you don't, on, on YouTube, you still see the ads just the same. It's just a way to help support me streaming if you really enjoy the stream and you want to do it. There's no reason to do it beyond that, you know. You get a few emotes and whatnot, but uh, if you're relatively new to, to YouTube streaming, don't worry about it, dude. It's all good. Well, I haven't got sick yet, have I? I'm going to wait a little bit longer, and then we'll try and eat a little bit more. When is the next event? Sunday. Mayor Bear, thank you very much. Cheers for the support. John Wick, thank you. Yang, thank you for the prime. Cheers for the support. Very kind indeed. Thank you. Eat half next. I, I don't want to risk it, Jambon. I'll, if I well, to be fair, if I eat half now, it's still not half of what I originally had. I suppose if that makes sense. But I'll probably eat just over a quarter and just keep it sensible. Is there something interesting in Pakistan like the mouse? There isn't like anywhere to teleport to. If that's what you mean, no. actually full already I best not that'll have to do I don't want to be sick because I'm full that would be stupid I've been thinking about getting premium I like I see the benefit of it however I'm uh, I'm a little bit streamed out at the moment and what I mean by that is I, I've recently signed up for Apple I'm already have I already have Netflix and I have Amazon and I have Apple I, s I recently signed up for the sport on Now TV, so I've got Netflix, Amazon, uh, Apple. I, I'm trying. There's another one I've got as well. Disney. I've got Disney Plus as well. I, I just feel like it's not so much the cost, which is a, a factor, but it's more the the amount of different fucking streaming services. I'm fed up of the fact that I'm streaming, or I'm effectively subscribed to them all. It kind of winds me up. And, like. There's a few yet. I, I, there's a few more, but I, I don't want to end up in a situation where I'm subscribed to fucking everything. Well, Frosty, that's the thing. You have to really be using YouTube a lot. That, that's where it becomes more. Redacted. Who's saying get ad blocker? I'm not. I don't have ad blocker. I just let the ads play. So if you're aiming that at me, I don't really understand what you're saying. I don't use ad blocker. I just watch YouTube with ads. Happy Friday, Paul. I agree it's getting out of hand to many platforms. Finny, thank you very much. Cheers for the 35 months. You do get music with it, but uh, like having the car, I like I need to have Spot. That's the other thing. I have Spotify because of the car. Fair enough. It was replied to a previous commenter. Yeah, yeah. I, on the subject of ad blocker, thank you by the way, dude. I, I, that makes a bit more sense. If you're watching with an ad blocker, I'm very grateful, but I'd be very grateful also if you're not in chat showing off about it, you know. Just just keep the ad blocker to yourself and don't try Have to encourage others. Yet? Everybody knows everybody knows that ad blockers are a thing and they can make their own mind up of it on it, but if you're watching a stream or a video, letting the content creator know that you're using it is a bit like kicking them in the nuts, right? So try not to do that, that would be good. Yeah, I I've got I've got, well, I haven't really given it much thought, but I have to, I subscribe to Tesla Connect, uh, uh, which is 9 99 a month, but for that you get, like, the, uh, 
you get Spotify, which to be honest, I only use in the car. But you also get like the sat nav, and you get some uh, like warnings for uh, speed cameras and things like that. So it's it's kind of uh, fairly useful. And because the car is a company car, a Tesla Connect goes on the business anyway. So I get Spotify in the car on the business kind of thing. light soon which is good I'll be I'll be pleased to see that there's actually a hunting uh, some sorry a summer camp over there that I kind of want to go to I think there's some summer camp sheds in the on the island I, I think I might go I am cold though I've been cold for fucking ages hey Chris hope you're good thanks for coming in Arctic, I think that's partly how I feel. I, I, I don't mind the ads in as far as you can skip them. You know, if you're unlucky, some videos you get two 15-second unskippables. So you might be watching a four-minute video with 30-second ads at the start. But I find that more rare than common. So for me personally, I, I, just, I just skip the ads. But I completely get why people choose to do it. If you're using YouTube a lot or you really want the music, then I get it. Like, I, I don't really listen to music very much. And when I do, I use the car's Spotify, which I've already got, like I say, you know. Uh, Ziggy, Zigginmo, thank you very much for the Prime. Cadfree, thank you very much. Flinny, Mare Bear before that, thanks again. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Those companies that pay millions to advertise just to put money back in the price of their product, that's why Heinz Beans is more expensive than Aldi Beans. Aldi have adverts too, dude. I'm forever seeing Aldi adverts. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I hardly ever see an advert specifically for Heinz Beans on the telly, but I see an Aldi advert every fucking 10 seconds. I do think Liverpool should sell Salah at the end of the season, FN agent, yeah. I think the time has come. I, I, Salah has been... I think it's not unfair to say one of Liverpool's best all-time players. If you look at his stats, he's been one of Liverpool's all-time greats. And, and I think he's done an amazing job for Liverpool. I, I think the way he's finishing the season is not the best, to say the least. But uh, I think the time is now. I think the time is now to sell. Hey Paul, can I have some advice please? Towie, fire away. Try to at me or I might miss your message. I don't think Nunes should be sold, totally not Bob, but Nunes is probably not going to fetch 150 million, is he, you know? If you have some time left in Prague, try to visit the Illusion Museum. Well, I'll try to remember, Chris. I've no idea how much t spare time there is. There doesn't look like very much spare time, to be honest, looking at the itinerary. The Thursday, Friday and Saturday and Sunday all look like they're kind of filled. So I get there Wednesday, I come back Friday, and in between it looks like they've got us kind of allocated. Salah seems like he cares far more for himself than the club. I don't know about that. I think he cares when Liverpool win or lose. I don't know. What am I going to Prague for? Uh, to meet the Daisy devs and there's about 10 other streamers and YouTubers going too. Joe has been warned she needs to chaperone you and HB. I don't understand. In what way? Yeah. 
We don't need no chaperone. Kevin, I, I don't think your uh, your facts on, on advertising and the cost of products bears out, if I'm honest, dude. I'm sorry to say. Pick companies advertise pro products to make more money. They don't... It doesn't cost that make their products cost more. It makes them sell more product, invariably. That's why companies do it. Like, like even companies that are synonymous with certain things, like Duracell advertise, because they want to maintain their position as being the one that everybody knows, you know? Like, that's what marketing is. It... Of course, marketing comes out of the budget, but I don't agree that Aldi beans are only... The only reason Aldi beans are cheaper than Heinz is because Heinz pay for advertising. I think that's very naive. Heinz beans are more expensive because they're a slightly better product. You know, that's truth. I prefer Aldi taste beans, to be fair, but most people don't. Most people buy Heinz because they're the ones that people like. They sell way more. That's why when you go to the supermarket, there's fucking shitloads of Heinz beans knocking about the place and less of everybody else's. I don't think Salah is worth 75 million. Well, it'll probably go for more like 130 or 150, so... Uh, I, I I don't think he's worth 150. At the age he's at now, he might not be worth it. You may well be correct, but I think Liverpool will get the money for him. I might as well put that one in the backpack. 10% more quality, 100% more price. Well, that's the way the whole world is, dude. Like, you think of anything, you know, like, if you buy a car for £30,000 and then buy a car for £60,000, the £60,000 one is not twice as much better, is it? That, That's the that's economics, isn't it? You know, that, that, that's how the world is. Okay, I'm not really sure which ones I've looted and which ones I've not, so I'm going to quickly just bust around and check them again. £130 million for seller. They turned down about £150 million last summer. They turned it down, dude. So, yeah, it's Dubai that are coming in with the crazy money, but... Dubai are pay, spending crazy money in all sorts, you know. They, they were paying Jordan Henderson, like, was it 600 grand a week or something like that? <laughs> like, trust me, uh, if, if Henderson's worth 600 grand a week, Salah's probably worth about fucking half a billion. Right, I think one of the hunting stands I didn't check, possibly this one. Did I say Dubai? Yeah, it's Saudi. It's not Dubai. You're right. It's uh, it's UAE in general. I, Dubai is in UAE, but yeah, you're right. It's not Dubai. It's, it'll be one of the Saudi teams. Is it stuck in the rock or what? It's stuck in the fuck. Oh, no. Oh fuck off! Come back onto, come back onto land. Actually, I think I might not get much of this. I think it might end. Some of it might get stuck on the rock. A lot of it's going to end up in the pissing water, I think. If, if it's deep water, I'm a bit shafted here, but we'll see. Uh, Devin, thanks for tuning in. Been watching for five years, dude. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, dude. Right, that's got me set up somewhat better than we were, isn't it? Still two more pieces of steak to go. Got two more pieces to go. Right, that's one. How can I get the other one in? Right, easy. Right. 
So I think up there there is a yeah, there's that's where we're going next. Have I got something to make a fire with? I, I had matches, didn't I? Or did I not? I think that was the last life it was. It was the last life on Takistan. Oh, well. <laughs> what button do you have to press to fast grab Anthony? You just double click it with your mouse. Big Butter, thank you for the eight, eight months. Anders, thank you for the support. Ziginmo, thank you for the prime. Cheers for the support, guys. Thank you. Uh, I ain't too worried about hand wraps, to be honest. I, I should maybe have... I think I dropped the t-shirt. I should have torn it up. Maybe for hand wraps, but I'm going to need something to uh, use as kindling when we get to the thing. I guess I can just use bark, though. That airfield was great. Lost my buddy after the restart. Chuck, the uh, the Glasgow airfield that we're heading up to this way. If we keep going this way, we get to the air the airfield, right? It, every time I go there, I pretty much die. I'm hoping we won't do today, but every time I go there, I nearly always die. I'm just going to turn the gamma off. It's been it, it's light enough now, I think. Anyone else incredibly underwhelmed with Grey Zone? Uh, Daxter, I'm not. I don't think it's going to be definitely for me, but I'm not underwhelmed by it. I think uh, judging a game on its first day when it's not even in early access is far too soon. Uh, they're expecting to flesh it out loads, and they're expecting it to change dramatically, so that's good. But there's. Let's put it this way. Grey Zone is a much better game on its first day than Daisy Standalone was. <laughs> so if they progress in the right way, they may have a good game there, you know, or they may go the wrong way. Who knows? Uh, Big Butter, thank you again. I think you're right, Redline. The premise of Daisy is what kept it alive. There are some issues with the way that Grey Zone is in that. You seem to have to do a lot of... Uh, it's a little bit like single player, which is exactly what I don't like, you know. There's an awful lot of missions that feel like chores, and all of the missions that we did so far were all go to that town you just left and do something that you could have done but you didn't know about. And then you complete the mission, and, and then he goes, yeah, go back to that town that you just left, but this time I want you to do this. And then you go back and complete it, and then he goes, yeah, go back to that town you just left, and now I want you to go to two places and complete a mission that you could have just done. And it, it, I guess it's trying to gradually get you to expand into the map slowly. But it's a little frustrating that you're kind of forever repeating missions in the town right next to where you're based. And so is everybody in the other factions. And the only way you can make PvP happen is if you decide not to do the missions and go and force PvP in a way that doesn't really make sense. Because you've then got to be right next to the other team's base. So when you die, you're fucked. But when they die, they spawn back in and can easily kill you. Uh, I like elements of it. I thought I really like the idea. I like the idea of it being a little bit of a combination of Tarkov and armor, and the fact that the base is in the map, and you have to. So it's it's an extract and extraction shooter of sorts, in that you're doing a mission and you're trying to extract, but you're still in the map the whole time. It's it's different. I think it's a nice idea. I think the idea is a good one, but. The strength of it is going to be whether the missions are gratifying enough or not and also whether you're likely to bump into other players or not and so far it's too early to tell but not really likely for me you know and what happens when you've done all the missions as well then then what you know i guess you're going out on raids to try and get more loot but to what end goal you know like you could say the same in daisy when you're geared what's the point but Daisy's truly open world, so when you meet another player, any options are on the table. You know, on, on Takistan just now, I shot at someone and then ran out of bullets, so pretended to say, like, let's not shoot anymore and be friendly, and that's what happened, and then we teamed up, you know. So I, I don't see that going to likely to be a thing on, on Grey Zone. You've got your faction. When you meet people from the other factions, I think people will mostly just shoot each other. I doubt there'll be much teaming up going on. I, I doubt it will have that sandbox feel. 
I intend to probably play Grey Zone one more time, Chris, but it won't be today, I don't think. I, st I think there's some mileage in Grey Zone, and I definitely think it can become a game that's really good. I think it could be good. I don't think it will suit out and out Daisy fans like me, but I think there is a window for it. I just think it's going to need a lot of thinking about and a lot of developing to get there. Insane Gladiator, thank you for the prime. Big Budder, thank you for the eight months. I've, I've said that about six times, Big Budder, but probably that'll be the last, probably. Do I like Hunt Showdown? I never tried Hunt Showdown. I, I always kind of felt like it probably wasn't going to be for me, so I, I, I gave it a swerve. Rightly or wrongly, I, I never thought Hunt Showdown was going to be for me, dude, so I, I didn't bother. Like, the, the PvP side looked quite fun, but the, the PvE bit kind of put me off a little bit. Oh. I think you get one long stick at the end. Yeah, that'll have to do for now. So we're yellow health now. I'm losing losing health because of hunger and cold. But I'm about to be near a fire, so then I'll be losing health because of the fire as well with the crazy way this works. <sighs> I'll be interested to see where it goes. I, I, I definitely think I'm going to play more uh, Grey Zone. I don't think Grey Zone is exactly for me, but it seems like a fun thing to try a bit more of. I, I like the idea enough to try it some more, for sure. Daisy still feels like an alpha. I don't think Daisy feels like an alpha major. It does have bugs. But for the type of game it is, I, I'm not sure I agree with that. I think Daisy feels a lot further along now than that. They see, they're tweaking it to make it better, and there's still things that can happen. And there are bugs, for sure. But honestly, I guess I've been playing the game so long, I don't think there'll ever be a time when Daisy doesn't have bugs. I, I doubt it. I don't think it necessarily is 100% a 1.0 release in some ways, that's for sure. And when it did go 1.0, it was really, really early, but I don't agree it feels like an alpha. F and Agent, Insane Gladiator, thank you both of you for the new subs. That's really kind, guys. Thank you. I hope I'm near that house I saw up the hill, because if I'm not, I'm in trouble. And as it's not the same developer as Tarkov, no. What game doesn't have any bugs? Nick Barr, thank you. Cheers for coming in. What game doesn't have any bugs? I agree with that, McLeanger. I think that's a fair assessment. There aren't many like. You can play AAA games like the like. I remember having all sorts of bugs playing Fallout 5 when it came out. You know, like most bugs, most games. Sorry, most bugs do have games. That's not far from the truth. But yeah, I I, I think you're correct. There are still bugs, but in most games. But nonetheless, it, it could it could have some fewer. But yeah, I I'd certainly, I'm I, I'm probably in your camp. I don't agree. It's in an alpha anymore. Tell me melee feels good in DayZ. Against zombies it feels good. Against players it's kind of gash. But uh, I'm not here for an argument, dude. I just don't agree it's in alpha, that's all. You I'm can think whatever you wish. I'm glad to watch your streams to pass the day when work is slow. Thanks, and have a great day. Uh, Darth, uh, thank you for the support. Glad to watch your streams. Thank you for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Cheers, dude. Thank you. Take my prime fine, sir. T R M Z love. Thank you. Cheers for the support. Thank you very much. Not sure I'm going to do Grey Zone today, real. I don't think so. Oh. 
So I would quite like to, uh, I'd quite like to go and get some more sticks because we ain't going to get all of this cooked with the sticks we have now. Uh, but I need one of these to eat, otherwise I'm in trouble. When was the last time I died because of a ladder in Daisy? I haven't been, I haven't died because of a ladder unless I was shot on it for ages. Can you just ignore the missions and do PvP? You can if you're playing Grey Zone. You can, but you you won't have any way to get back. You'll have to. It'll be a run, you know. Like, and that's fine. But you have to do the missions to open or travel around to try and open up other LZs to to land your helicopter at. So, uh, I believe if you just go to the area, it unlocks the LZ. So in theory, you might be able to travel around unlocking LZs, and and then maybe getting PvP at the time. What's my typical gameplay loop for Vanilla Daisy? Uh, spawn in, spend two hours looking for gear, kill one player, die to his mate. <laughs> uh, not quite. No, there isn't a typical gameplay loop. That's what I love about Daisy. That's what's so cool about Daisy. There really isn't a typical gameplay loop. You can you can have all sorts of different things on the table. You know, the reason that I can come back and play it all the time is that you just never know how it's going to be. Sometimes you could die six times in an hour sometimes you live for 15 hours and have a car team up with two different randoms or whatever you know like the beauty of daisy is that it doesn't really have a typical gameplay loop what you do need though is a little bit of imagination once you're geared otherwise you could easily get bored you know Right, we are certainly set for food now anyway, aren't we? I'm going to stop eating them for a little while now because I'll probably need to eat the hottest ones. and that, Like the ones that I've cooked now are going to cool down, whereas the ones that cook right at the end, obviously they'll be the hottest. So uh, I'm going to struggle with heat fairly soon, I suspect. What was your longest lifetime in action on DayZ? I don't know, Chris. If you mean a single firefight, I've no idea. I've lived somewhere between 30 and 35 hours on characters on stream. Here's to four more years. But that's given my playstyle where I tend to run to most firefights and take on sh sort of stupid scenarios where I probably shouldn't. You know, I don't run away from fights more often than not, even if I've got not much. Smoked meat is not better than grilled. No, I, I, the reason I left it on the smoker is because I was going to get sticks and if I put it on an... If I put it on here, and they could have burnt while I was getting the sticks, so I'd, I'd rather have smoked meat than burnt meat, if that makes sense. So I left them on the smoker purely because of that. Baked meat is the is much better than smoked. The only benefit with smoked is that they last longer before they get rotten. But I'll be able to eat all of this before it gets rotten anyway. So. Hey Scarrow, no, I've, I've stayed away from Reforger and Daisy for now, in the same way that I stayed away from Battle Royale when it was on Armour 2, or not Battle Royale, bad, bad, bad uh, comparison. In the same way I stayed away from the Armour 2 and Armour 3 mods, particularly the Armour 3 mods like Exile and there was an Epoch mod and there was others as well. All very good games, but they were much more military orientated and a little bit less Daisy esque and I think Armour Reforger Daisy is exactly the same, you know, it's based on Reforger, the movement's more like armour, it's much more of an armour type game. I tend to steer clear of those, not because they're bad, but because they don't feel like Daisy to me, you know. Yeah, my clothes dry out just sitting by the fire. They're not drying out very well though, so maybe I should, uh, maybe I should drop them off. Never tried Breaking Point. Same kind of discussion as we just had, basically. 
it was at one time Breaking Point was going to be a standalone game. It never it had a had a uh, Kickstarter, but it never got off the ground. Hey, Redica, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Uh, Seafrids, thank you for the 48 months. Here's to four more years, dude. Thank you. Inventory organising, a bit anal on the cooker there. There's reasons for it, dude. I'm trying... Like, there's a bit of a conveyor system going on, so it's not anal. It, it It's so that the ones in the smoker, I know which are the recent ones and which are the ones that have been on longer, so that I don't end up accidentally smoking meat that I don't want to. I don't want any more smoked meat, because it's not as good, so... What I do is I, I take a piece, like, I ship them over that way. Well, let's do this one. So, when I drop it there, that's a new one. There's two new ones. There's two older ones there. So, the two older ones get shipped to here. And then these two go across to the left. So that then when I put two new ones on, I know which of the new ones are not. So, I always know which ones, when the ones here bake, I know which ones need to drag over. And that way I... Uh, I don't, uh, I don't end up smoking meat that I didn't want to smoke. Why is this taking so long to fucking dry? It's crazy. Yeah, a few people didn't like the way the guns were kind of held in the game. Uh, my nephew showed the game and uh, got you into the into these streams. They're very cool. I am indeed from uh, England, Riddica. So Britain, yeah. Right, so there should be some very... Hello? Hello? Oh, I had a door. It might have just been my... Uh, it might be my own it might yeah, it might be my own imagination to be honest, but I'm not equipped for a player, so I hope there isn't one. Uh your feeling towards Armour Forger is the same as mine. Thank you very much, uh Wedder. Or WD anyway, but yeah, dude, yeah, thanks for coming in. Thanks for tuning in. The portable stove can give you the heat buff, but you obviously need the gas gas uh, canister as well. I'm about to get very, very warm. I have found some decent stuff on these picnic tables in the past. Not so much today by the look of it. I think I can take that. We might as well. It'll give us a bit more space. I've just filled up my inventrix full of all, all, all sorts of shit. Can't believe I just found you this year. My wife and I cannot stop watching you become the evening's entertainment. Eric, well, thank you. Cheers for tuning in. I appreciate it. And hello to Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> I hope you're both well. Thank you. Cheers for the super chat. Robot Lady will be reading it out in a second. I can't believe I just found you this year. My wife and I cannot stop watching. You've become the evening's entertainment. Thanks Cheers. a lot, Eric, dude. Keep up the great work, smiley face. Thank you. This is uh, not the best loot. I think the summer camp's up that way from memory. It's kind of nice now that there's no map. You have to remember where stuff is. You know, it ma makes it feel a bit more of a challenge to. Like, it was easy enough to find this before. You could easily find where you were going and what you were doing without any skill or, or any memory, I should say. It's not necessarily skill, more experience, but. Now the map's not there anymore. You can't just tap M to see where to go. You have to actually know the map, which is much better, I think. Maybe it's not better if you've just started, but better if you put a bit of time in, I suppose. 
you can of course Google the map Dust Eyes. You can, have, and some people will use uh, will use uh, I Survive or similar. But even that's much harder than pressing M because if you tap M, it's got a little icon that shows you where you're exactly your player is. So it, it's like it's a bit like going ten pin bowling and the the bumpers are up. You know, you can't not hit the pins. Where <laughs> like even if you're using I Survive, you've still got to navigate a little bit. You probably want to compass. You probably got to put a little bit of work in. Because it's not going to show you exactly where you are. You still have to do a bit of thinking. Irish wristwatch. That's hard to say. Uh, thank you very much for coming in. Cheers for tuning in, dude. Right, let's have... Christine, let's get rid of that one. What did they... Ch yeah, still five kilos. I thought they'd change the weight of that, to be honest, but... Savage rounds, that's good, because it will go in the lever action. It will, it will give me a few more bullets. I believe this is relatively powerful, the Savage. Okay, we're back to white health. So, like, that is actually useful now, like if I find a map as well. Savage rounds some more, yep, yeah, very good. I might go back and get the other thing now, maybe. We'll see. Feels like nobody's been here for a little while. More savage rounds, yep. Another pristine hunting knife. Okay, you can go as well then. Five, five, six. Okay, we'll have it. Uh, Oleg, thank you for the subbing. Cheers for the for the member inning on YouTube. Very, very kind indeed, dude. Thank you. I don't need to go back now, do I? That's good. Cheers for the membership. Thank you very much. And Eric, cheers again for the super chat, dude. eat that and then we'll, I'm going to take that jacket. Not been amazing loot. Probably story of bitter root for me is that the uh, the early stages of the, uh, the the loot economy are not quite there yet balance wise. Could be wrong but uh, it's still a work in progress and I think that's going to change too so we'll see how it goes as the patches go you know. I will survive, I will survive long as I know how to love. I know I'll stay alive. It's Friday, uh, well, Friday day. Uh, uh, okay, no singing for me. Makes me uh, makes me sad inside. Right, I think we've got to go this way. Nellis, thank you for the support. Dude, very kind. I, I see a tower over there. Let's go to the tower. Can you explode the canisters if they're attached to anything? Uh, I think it's... I think like that, they don't explode the same as if they're loose, I think. So I think it's not so likely. First I was afraid. <laughs> uh, I was mortified. Uh, Nellis, thanks again. Quick reminder, by the way, I'm not streaming tomorrow, which is normal, it's a Saturday. I don't normally stream on a Friday, but I had to swap days around because of... Uh, Mobius TV donated $10. It's been a while since I've been on Twitch. Glad oh, to see you. you are doing well. Mobius, cheers, cheers, cheers for the support, dude. Thank you for the tip. Yeah, I'm streaming today because I missed Monday because I had to take my mum to a hospital appointment and it was right slap bang in the middle of the day. It just made streaming impossible. So uh, I'm on today as a result of that. I'm not on tomorrow like normal. But I'm back on Sunday and I will be doing the PvP event, which I'm looking forward to. So, well, assuming I get in, right now I'm second reserve, but I think I'll be in it. So I'll be in as a competitor. So the same one that I shoutcasted a couple, uh, well, about a month ago. I should be in it as an entrant. Alright. Don't need that. I never find anything good in these towers. 
I feel like it would be cool if these towers were associated with hunting loot. Right, so there's a town there I'm not going to bother with. We need to kind of go that way. There's a summer camp over there. Maybe it would be too obvious that these had hunting loot, but really, more often than not, they tend to have a knife or fuck all. It, it, they're a bit out of the way. It would be cool if they had something better. You think it's a fire lookout? It does look... What was it? Firewatch. It looks like the tower from Firewatch, doesn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, maybe it would make sense if it had some, uh, like, a fire axe or something in it. But I'm sure I'm sure firefighters need hunting scopes. Cheers for the tip, Morbius. Hope you're good. Don't think I'll be able to get out. Feel sleepy. Uh, Klaus, very nice. Before the stream started, I had uh, I had uh, baked potatoes for lunch. Uh, well, a couple of baked potatoes. Uh, and then maybe it was the carb loading. I don't know. But I finished it, put the, put the plate in the kitchen, sat on the sofa and then fell asleep for about 15 minutes at about half past one. <laughs> you use binoculars, do you? No, nah, hunting scopes attached to blazes. That's what you use, shrapnel. <laughs> It's 3 p.m. UK time, Tabby, yeah. I don't think it's age, Nellis. I think I've been on the PC too much. I slept fairly well last night, but I've not. my sleeping this week has been terrible. It might be age, but I, I don't think it is. I, I think it's more... I, I, unfortunately, I didn't go out for a walk this morning, which probably didn't help. That definitely wakes me up quite a lot. But I was on my PC for the best part of three hours this morning. I was tinkering with OBS. I did a couple of test streams to make sure it was running right. And it definitely is. My game is running better than it has done. Probably since I started multi-streaming, but certainly better than I started when I started getting those encoding bugs about two months ago. I have Today is the best it's felt. Today feels like I'm gaming whilst not streaming. It, it feels so smooth, which is brilliant. Unrelated question is T the norm. I, Red, I think it's more like more like 50-50 at least between tea and coffee. I think a lot of... Uh, Maybe a lot of older peeps drink more tea and a lot of younger peeps might drink a bit more coffee. As a, as a generalisation, there will be many exceptions to that. But I'd say it's close to 50-50. Uh, I can't have coffee because it gives me the shits. <laughs> so uh, I have to have tea. I used to probably drink a bit more coffee than I drank tea, but I've, I've ended up going to tea because I can actually drink it. Uh, Berserk, thank you for the prime. Uh, very, very kind indeed. Thank you. 50-50, no way it's tea or nothing. Well, Madden, I think one thing that you could say is that if you look around the high streets, there's a hell of a lot of Ponzi coffee shops, but there ain't many Ponzi tea shops, is there, you know? The shops that call themselves tea rooms have to do things like, uh, like afternoon tea, and mainly people go for the cream and the scones and the cakes and the sandwiches, right? I think that's because you can just make a decent tea at home, whereas coffee is a bit more poncy, perhaps. I don't know. You can make one at home, but you need some fancy machine that came from Italy, probably. You started drinking Red Bush. Well. Oh. Not Bob, yeah, uh, a viewer a viewer made me a couple of those. Like, I, I think it looks like it might be Amish Zed in about 15 years in the middle. It looks like it looks like Amish Zed in 15 years' time to me. Uh, but the dog looks like Toby, which is very, very cool. I think we're coming up to a summer camp this way soon. All being well. I think they are anyway. What do I think of Grey Zone? Uh, Tim, I, I think it's got potential, but I don't. I think uh, it's going to take some time before we see if that potential is realised. Is a real, some real quick version. Yeah. <sighs> 
Uh, Ziloka, thank you very much for the four months. Cheers for the support. Thank you. I really like the way it looks, and, and I, it, there's elements of it I really enjoyed, but it's it's just... It's really early right now. I think it's too repetitive for me. I, uh, I want to play more of it, though. So I, I, like, I did play a little bit last night. I didn't fancy it today, so I, I'm doing DayZ. But I, uh, I enjoyed elements of it loads. But the missions felt a little bit like, like prescriptive and like constantly going to the same place to do similar things, you know. But I would imagine they get much different when you start having to venture out to other towns and things. But every mission was always in the same fucking town. But I, I do think there's some potential there. I really do. I, I'm definitely going to be prepared to hold out and wait for now. If it came out like it is today, in full release, it would be a failure. But it's not in full release. It's not even early access. So there's, there's some chance there for sure. Hunting scope is pretty good. Just need the gun to go. Well, I've got the blaze already, haven't I? Just need a few bullets, which we could potentially find here, actually. So that would be cool. Can fix the blaze with that. Can a full fronter. Another cleaning kit. Another two cleaning kits. I'm actually going to check in the tower. Have you been watching Fallout? What are your thoughts? Sammy, I've seen all of Fallout. I really enjoyed it, yeah. A little bit joined the dots in certain elements, but it was good. I, I really liked it. I, I'm quite excited to see a second season. I thought it was... I, I, it's not the, like, groundbreaking or anything, but it was, I was expecting it to be shit. And it really wasn't. It was decent. <clears throat> Tim, I don't think the early access will be very far away. Uh... Yeah, I missed 556 five, in the last shed, did I? Okay, I'm going to have a look. I, uh, I, I need to get back onto Shogun. Yeah, I did. Well spotted. I haven't seen the last two episodes, which I'm guessing are the last two. I can't remember, but I, I was enjoying Shogun. I, I do need to watch it. If the missus falls asleep tonight, I might watch it tonight. Well, she, she's going to fall asleep, but if she falls asleep early is what I'm saying. So sometimes she falls asleep on the sofa about 10, 10 p.m. So I, I then, that's when I... That's when I watch my pictures. <laughs> so I'll, I'll probably take that opportunity to stick Shogun on. It, it does make me wonder why Kyle McLachlan is not in more stuff. I, I don't know why. Like, I don't know what the deal is with him. Like, he was obviously massively famous for 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 a few things. The original Dune and uh, the TV show that's known I can't fucking remember now, but that one. I'm, I'm a little bit wondering why he's never been in more. Like, is he not a good actor? I, I, I think he's pretty decent in this. Twin Peaks, yeah, well done. That's exactly the thing I couldn't remember. I never really watched Twin Peaks. It was a little bit before my time. It was a bit more grown up. I was a bit young when Twin Peaks was coming out to be watching it, I think. I never really never really gave it much of a go. In fact, I've never seen it. He was in Showgirls. Yeah, I've forgotten that. But I still wonder why he's not been in more, you know? So there's, there's some more episodes to come of Shogun, is there? Okay, interesting. 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe I've just not seen much he's in, but he seems like he kind of gravitated toward like sort of TV movie kind of genre. Maybe, maybe I'm harsh, but I don't know. I think he he's okay in this. It might be that he might find his feet in other Another roles. Month older, not regretted you know? it once. Keep on running. Love you. Bye. See, funny you said he's like Bruce Campbell. That that's kind of. I was almost thinking of Bruce Campbell while we were talking about it. You know, it's weird. I don't think like Bruce Campbell's very much more in the like he does like the cheesy roles. I, I don't know, maybe I I don't think he's uh, I don't think Kyle MacLachlan is like an all-time great actor or anything, but he's not that bad. Other actors get more roles that certainly aren't any better, you know. Chalk. I mean, there's more episodes. I just said I think I, the last two I've not seen are the last two of the season, and someone's just said there's another one yet to come. So, what I'm saying is there's another episode that that hasn't come out yet, and I've not seen the last two. MVG, thanks for coming in. Why do the raiders stick Lucy in that room? Well, you might find that out if you watch the whole season. I think you you can't. Uh, I I don't want to. I don't want to talk about plot. Really, you've talked about plot on episode one, but you probably have to get through the whole season I to understand why that's the case. Show too. Are you looking forward to the Running Man movie remake that was announced? I enjoyed Fallout. Are you looking forward to the Running Man movie remake that was announced? Uh. I'm in interested. I'm interested in it. Yeah, I, I, I'll definitely try to. Well, I don't know if I'll see it at the cinema, but I'll, I'll be keen to watch it. I might try to read the Running Man book again because it's very, very different to the to the film. I didn't like it. I didn't like it when it when I read it because I'd seen the film first and I used to love the film loads when I was much younger. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. It's not the it's not the film. I'm, there's a few cowboy films, a few westerns coming out that I'm kind of fairly interested in seeing. Uh, I don't know. I'm not that excited really about much that's coming out at, at the moment. Keep at it. Greetings from Germany. TRMZ love. Who is the guy in the thumbnail? I've no idea, Berserk. DCW, I'm, I'm not doing spoilers, really. I read someone's message, but I, I didn't really go... Uh, all I said was watch the whole thing and then you might understand. I think that's normally the case for any show. Uh, I'm not sure, Spudder. I'm not sure I'm going to do Grey Zone. We'll see how this life goes and then I, I might make, my, make the call after that. Yeah, I know that, Kerry. Uh, I know that. I should say, probably. Right, should we just have a little drink before we go over? Over the top? Gary, mind me. I'll try and remember, but my memory's shit. <laughs> It seems to be wanting me to have a 556 five, weapon, doesn't it? Why is cheese so damn good? Hmm. It's a pretty valid question. I think a more valid question is, by and large, why do calories taste so nice, you know? Like, I don't want to get too, uh, too, uh, biblical on us, but if I was a creator, I'd make celery taste nice so that people could eat as much of it as they wanted. <laughs> you know, why did, why did, uh... Why did it have to be that all the nice stuff tastes, that all the stuff that tastes amazing is fucking calorific, baby? <laughs> well, 
like cucumber would be like the best thing ever if I was if I was a creator. What's that? Cucumber would take taste like your favorite thing ever, whatever it might be. I guess it's more of an evolutionary thing, like, like, like science versus religion is not really my topic of the day, but I'd imagine that the reason calories taste nice to us is that we're conditioned to eat things that are calorific, so they taste nice because that way we, di we don't die. Like if the low calorie stuff tasted nice, we'd probably just eat that, wouldn't we? And then we might not survive. So I should imagine that's why we're, we're literally conditioned that way. I hate looting these. I'm not even going to bother. I fucking hate looting them. They're so tedious. I'm going to the other side. Imagine going to a celery van after after a night out. <laughs> Guilt-free comfort food, eh? Uh, Felix, thanks for the kind words. Cheers for tuning in as well. Ain't no way I'm gonna stealth this. I thought I saw someone in the doorway of that building for a sec. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Gonna not uh, Oh, an M16. That's tr that's tricky. That could get me killed. That could. Just put it there for now. I need a protector case for that or something because otherwise we're gonna get get ourselves deaded. We're one mag away from having a decent secondary, and we're one box of bullets away from having a decent primary, which means we're one best vest away from being fully geared if we achieve those other things. You know that we're on the way from misery to happiness. Uh huh. You do like dipping celery in a dip. Well, I guess the clue's in the name, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm. I I quite like getting celery and then putting like Philadelphia cheese all down the spine, like the the U bit of it, right? Fill it up with Philadelphia cheese. Then then it tastes good because it's no longer tasting of celery. That's the trick with celery, isn't it? Peanut butter is also a, an option. I, I would imagine that's a decent option too, yeah. Do you think you can get cancelled for hating on celery? I doubt there's uh, any associations for celery rights out there. I'm probably okay. Celery and ketchup. You should get cancelled. That sounds awful. Right, I'm going to take that one for it can take the grenade. And then I won't get blown up. Which is a technical military term. How did that hit me? I was like here and the doors were closing. Fucking Stretch Armstrong. This is where we got the combat log of the... I should have made a short out of that. I really should have made a short out of that. This is where I killed the combat logger on, on this the last time we, we played. I didn't die when I came in last time, which is good. But I sniped someone in this building, knocked them unconscious, and when I ran here, they were logging out. Cheeky bastards. Just there they were, logging out there.
I'm probably better off with the shotgun than the M16, to be honest, but anyway. Oh, this is an absolute revelation. The, this is the smoothest I've had the game and the stream feel in several months, and that is a big deal. It's been all kinds of skippy and horrible lately. It's beautiful now. Connor, I can make the short, but I've got to go and find it, and tomorrow's a day off, and I'll forget before the end of the stream. Never mind tomorrow. Oh, for fuck's sake. Feisty one. Right, I don't. There's yellow tents to my right, and there's more to loot over that way, but I don't think I want to go that way. I think the highest saturation of military looting is over there, so that's the way I'm going first. What has changed? Uh, Mountain, I've completely redone OBS and set it up a different way, so... Uh, the slightly longer but still short version is that when I started streaming on YouTube, I was set up to stream to Twitch on OBS, and I used a plugin to allow me to stream to, to YouTube extra. But what I'm streaming to YouTube is harder to stream than Twitch, so... Doing it the way I set it up was not the right way. By your stamina bar, you need me. I should have set it up to stream primarily to YouTube and then added Twitch on, but I didn't. I left it streaming primarily to Twitch and added YouTube on, which is... It's a little bit like having two cars, one with a tiny engine, and you're trying to drive that car quicker. And then you've got another car that's got a big engine and you're making that car do 20 miles an hour, you know. Not a brilliant analogy, but that's kind of how I was doing it before. I've changed it now and it's running so much more smoothly because I'm now asking it to do kind of how it should be. I know all the quality settings are pretty much the same as they were. I don't think anything's going to be dramatically different. There's a chance both, in theory, might look marginally better, but they certainly won't look any worse. The settings on both are ever so slightly higher than they were before. feel really confident that we're going to find ourselves a 556 mag, but we ain't getting it yet, are we? Is that thumbnail a face reveal? No, it looks nothing like me, dude. Uh, Doomsday Cat, thank you very much for the 14 months. Felix, thank you very much as well. Right, let me try red line uh reprog i was a big game developer and when we bought 10 to 15 big players to the studio it was usually to preview a big game changing release gather feedback and tune in tune refine mechanics and changes based on that do you think that's what you might be doing uh, i don't think we'll be seeing anything no i think we might get told what's coming if we're lucky uh but i certainly don't think we'll be getting any demonstration i i, I don't know I, I don't know what we're doing really but I'd be absolutely staggered if there was anything to be... I should think it'd be more of like a slide or, or whatever. Uh, but I, I don't think we will be getting any uh, chance to feed back on what they've already done. I'd be very surprised. Are you? Uh, they are good at listening to feedback. Uh, but I don't think they will be in a state for gaining feedback just yet, would be my guess. Is there a magazine on the bed? Yeah, I'll check when I get down. I may have missed something. A box of bullets on the bed.
What is that one? A mo oh, no, it's a Springfield. That uses 308, so we don't need that. Might take the scope though, because that might go on other guns that might be useful, I suppose. Well, I didn't know that went on there. That's kind of cool. I'm going to put it there though for now because if I if I end up in a fight close range, it's not going to be any good, is it? UNP power. further scope than no scope, to be honest. So somebody's been here. When was the restart? The restart was maybe an hour ago. Somebody's been here since then, because all of these doors are open. Like, uh, there's no dead Zeds. I don't think they're still here now. I might be wrong, but it feels like there's no nobody around at the moment. Oh, I didn't have any bullets. That that would have been cool. I'm not sure what's more powerful between the Savage and the Blaze. I I feel like the blaze possibly is, but I think they might be fairly close, to be honest. There may not be much in it. <clears throat> the scope didn't go on because it doesn't fit. That's why it didn't go on. Duster. I didn't think it would fit, because it doesn't fit on this gun either, but I thought I'd check anyway. Uh, Felix with the 66, just in case I missed your one, dude. Thank you for the resub. I think I caught it, but you never know. like scopes with the mill dots. Some of them are okay. They are quite useful. If they're set up correctly, they are very useful. I kind of like the standard hunting scope because I'm just used to it. That's the one I tend to prefer using. I think we're going to be shit out of luck for most of this, really, because we, we are looting after somebody else. We're All of the mags are empty. Chances are not so much as spawned in, because it's been looted in the last probably half an hour or so, maybe a little bit more, but somewhere around there. Uh, I don't really know the way from here either, I don't really know where I go after this. Just round these two up. I'm going to shut them in here because it's an easier door to shut them in. What happened to the other one? Here you come. Come on in. Come and meet your buddy. No, don't go out, idiot. I almost want to shoot those deer, they're right fucking annoying, isn't they? I won't shut up. Oh dear me, this is pretty shite on the loot front.
bag have I got? A great big fucker. I can't really drop the great big fucker at this moment in time, I don't think. I bet there's more loot at that car than we've seen so far. We could wear someone else's old jeans. I love me a pair of second-hand jeans, I do. Hmm. Come on in, in you come. Ooh, the door's closed. Why did they not loot the last one? Why is the last one all shut up? We've only done and got ourselves two whole bullets for the uh, for the blaze. How do you close doors so fast? I'm just a new bit Chris. It's just it's just practice, you know. I, I I haven't got but much better at anything over the years. I'm not much better at playing the game in general. Some might say I'm worse. I don't think I am, but nonetheless. <laughs> you definitely get a bit of a flow to the closing and the opening of the doors. The more you loot, the better you get. It's it's there's no great rocket science to it. It's just hours, hours and hours and hours of monotonous door opening. Well I, well, I say monotonous. I enjoy looting, so it's not necessarily so, but... There is a bit of a knack to it. You, you Obviously, you're not waiting to see the F. You're kind of anticipating and... Yeah, but you you just get a bit of a flow. The more you play, you, you'll find it yourself. It'll just... It'll just start happening. see much in it. Oh look, maybe they didn't loot in here. Look, we only got, we got ourselves a what does this take? 300 black hat. What is this? Oh, three more tundra rounds. Oh, sorry, blaze rounds. Well, I'm going to drop the shotgun. I, I don't even like it, but it's got slugs in it. I'm shooting slugs. I might as well be just using the gun I've got, I think. That's fine. Did he say monogamy opens doors? I did not, no. I'd say monogamy opens doors if your boss happens to be uh, your missus's dad or something. Then I'd say it definitely would. Happy life. Well, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. You're sleeping with your father-in-law. That's not what it means, is it? <laughs> that might be how it works where you are, Redline, but we don't do that like the Minnesotians do. <laughs> with the gas thing. I, I don't have the room or the energy or the, the patience. I don't have it. I wonder if there's any mil military loops in here. I doubt these spawn anything that's worth having. Oh. I was thinking more like anything that's worth having such as like military stuff, but I think it's probably not going to have. I'm not even going to bother. Check the container. Boots. I am actually surprised we've not seen anyone. I'll probably end up getting killed. I, 
I'm, I'm one tapable at the moment, unfortunately, which is a bit of a worry. I'm quite easily one tapable. Oh, there's a that's a vest. Somebody dropped it as well. Oh, now we've got a, now we've got a quandary and a half. I have got quite a lot of shit that I can drop, to be fair, haven't I? So let's, let's start dropping some. anything fixed pristine no nothing needs fixing did see more bullets somewhere there they are ah. oh, shit that went well no oh, thanks I kind of forgot there was a gap there I thought I was falling under the map for a second Just having a little look, see if there's any uh, any dooders. Don't need two knives. What the fuck are you talking? Of course I need two knives. I need two knives more than I need one gun. Defo. Actually, I think you might be right. I think for once I've got one of those them there stone things, haven't I? Didn't I have a sharpening stone? No, I think that was on the last life as well. No sharpening stone. No sharpening stone means uh, my knife might become a dull boy. I, I, I need two knives. Anyone that anyone that played through the uh, the no knives patch will find it hard not to have two knives. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to struggle with that forever now. Like, I just can't have it. I need the knives, okay? And that's the end of that chapter. Go to get more loot then. Why am I not getting hydration from eating this food as well? It should be giving me. Oh, it is doing now. Artsy, thank you very much for the uh, for the support. By the way, thank you for the uh, two monthly. Uh, Nathaniel and Sam, thank you for the follows on the YouTube's as well. I might have to go and loot some of the buildings over that way, I suppose. I don't know. I, I don't really want to, but I need... Well, to be fair, I did just get a vest, but I, I'm kind of thinking there might be an M16 mag over there. We found mags, but obviously we only found mags. I got an AKM mag and honey badger mags. I clearly, obviously, was never going to find the mags I actually needed. That's not how Daisy works, is it? You never get what you want. But sometimes you might find you get what you need. I don't want to do any more of that over there. It's, I'm going to go this way. I don't remember what I did, but I know I went down that way. And I don't remember where we ended up, but I went that way, so I'm going to go that way. Yeah, I, I remember there being a firefight this way. I, I, I don't really know where we went. I don't think I want to go over that mountain, actually. Look at that. that, that there's actually stuff up there. Over there is all north of the map. I think I want to go more this way and see what's there. there might, that's the sort of the way towards the big town. I think I might go that way. I don't know. I'm quite pleased to get, up, get somebody else's uh, vest, though. Even though it's damaged, it's still worth having. Really remember what way I went, but I think I'm going to stick to the right of that mountain and then see if we can find the big town. Yeah. 
Can you build that tent on top of the tower? Probably not on that one. Although I kind of want to go on that tower now. Can I repair it? I'd need a leather kit for that. And I don't... Or oh, I've got epoxy. I could repair it with the epoxy putty. I suppose I ought to. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix it. Camp the military base. Well, it seems a bit quiet. I mean, the server's got loads of people in it, but it seems a bit quiet at the moment. I think there's a fort or something up that hill. Well, I guess we'll find out in a minute. I kind of want to see to the right and see where the big town is, but we might as well go and have a look, mightn't we? That's one of the joys of not being able to press M. You have to go and find out what's there rather than being told, if you like. I'm pretty sure the big town that was added is over that way, so we're going to go to the top of the mountain and then we'll scout for the big town after. Isn't ballistic vest better than the stab vest? Uh, yeah, I haven't had one of those though, Tabby. The, the, be the order of the regular official ones is stab vest is the entry level one, and then the press vest is the next best one, and then after that it's the plate carrier. But this is the only ballistic vest I've found of any sort, so this is the best I've got right now. Yeah, th so this is specific to this server. It's a uh, Cole County Police vest. Yes, sir, E Bob. If I could do an accent like the sheriff from the old James Bond films. Hey, boy! <laughs> that guy. <laughs> uh, I'd do it, but I can't. No, the vest I got rid of was a high cap vest, whatever it's actually called in the game. But it, it wasn't a... Uh, it, it was another version of this with the sheriff badge on, but it was... Uh, it was just a high cap vest with no ballistic protection at all. You're a ranger now, son. <laughs> Where are them joke juke boys gone? Oh, I used to love Dukes of Hazard. I used to love it back in the day. I I really liked it. It wasn't my all time favourite. Everyone's going to now start saying, I really liked such and such, the A-Team, Knight Rider, Fall Guy, uh, Six Million Dollar Man, I really liked uh, Street Hawk, what about, what about Airwolf, and so on, but yeah, no, I, I, I'd forgotten how much I, li I kind of liked it. Me and the missus were w wandering around a shop, and someone had an old, like, model of the General Lee uh, in its box, like, from probably at the time the show was around, at the car, that is. And uh, it kind of made me reminisce a little bit. I didn't like Thundercats. I used to get a little bit of a tingle about about Chitara before I understood what the tingle meant. But I used to quite like Chitara. <laughs> but I didn't really like Thundercats myself. I, I hated Lion-O. He used to really annoy me. lion -O would be a very terrible Twitch streamer. He used to do this like narration thing that was really annoying. Like, like it would be like, must make it to tree, but life is sapping away. And like it was, uh, I I just used to wish Lino would die. I haven't seen Thundercats for about forty years, by the way, but that's my recollection. And when I say 40 years, I mean more like 33, 32, something like that. I used to like the Incredible Hulk show, yeah. I, when, when he turned into the Incredible Hulk, I used to get petrified, though. Those green eyes, that like his, his face would be regular and then his eyes would go green. And I used to get properly afraid and I'd like hide behind the sofa and stuff. How about Inspector Gadget? Uh, it was alright. The, the biggest problem with Inspector Gadget was Inspector Cad Gadget himself, you know. I, they, they overdid the klutzness, I think. Thank you. <laughs> Mask, yeah, I, I, I remember that a little bit. I remember being jealous of one of my cousins because he had all the toys. The toys were cool.
You must be one of the few people that remember the test card on the BBC. Fuck off. <laughs> Captain Scarlet's before my time, thankfully. Nom, 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 nom. Very good. I've got sausage pitters today. Slight change. I've never been a big fan of Doctor Who. I've never, never really got into it, ever. I remember Ulysses a little bit. I remember the theme tune being better than the show. Blasphemy, is it, Paddle? I just could never get into it. I think Sylvester McCoy was Doctor Who when I remember watching it first, and I, I never really liked it. Blake Seven's definitely before my time, Sausage. We did Blake Seven for GCSE Drama as like a... Uh, we had to do like a case study on Blake 7 and, and, and we had to do like work on it. And I remember watching it thinking it was ancient as shit then, so I'm definitely too young for Blake 7. I can remember Street Hawk, yeah, it was like a. It was like a wannabe Knight Rider, it was still okay. Knight Rider was the one, though. Shows were different then, weren't they? You know, like... If you think about shows like... Uh, not so much Knight Rider, but Street Hawk and... Uh, Airwolf. The main actor in those were completely devoid of any talent. <laughs> Sorry, I might be throwing them under the bus there, but they weren't the best actors in the world, right? In, in my opinion, anyway. Like, like they, it didn't really matter, though, it seems. I guess it was because they were making the shows mostly for, like, kids or younger people, but... Like, there weren't much actors. Even people like Lee Majors, you know, it, it wasn't, like, the best, really, was he? It was more... He was a bit more on-screen persona-wise, I suppose, but... I'm not sure it was worth it. <clears throat> I'm not going up the tower. I've, there was a shot this way. I want to go and see what, if we can work out where the stuff is to shoot. Airwolf was all about the helicopter. Well, old matey that was the the second in command, he's he's all right. I forget his name, Poseidon Adventure. I, I should be able to remember his name, but it'll come to me the second someone types his... He was okay. Ernest Borgnine, yeah, that's the one. I don't want to have any... I'd, I'd say the Hoff's acting abilities are matched only by his singing. From 1 to 10, how likely is it to have uh, an encounter with someone in the forest? Probably 1. But when they happen, they're out, out, they're crazy. You do get them, but you have to play the game quite a lot for random stuff like that, you know? I'm trying to work out where to go, to be honest. I don't know if that shot was behind. Is this the summer camp? I think this is the fucking summer camp. Oh my god. What do I think about the chances of England? I think England have got a chance in the Euros. I think 
on paper, England's squad of players is probably in the in the top two or three in the tournament. England's biggest problem is their defence. It's uh, it's shite. Including the goalkeeper, that that's where their weakness is. But every team has a weakness. There is no team with world class players in every position. I think in terms of midfielders and forwards, if if Harry Kane is fit, uh, and we've got some other strikers that are very good, but uh, if Harry Kane plays and Jude Bellingham plays and Foden plays, then. Uh, and Saka and people like that. England have got as good of a, a midfield and attack, maybe better. Than, and Declan Rice as a holder. Midfield and forwards, they're as good as anyone else in the tournament. By, well, probably better than anyone else. Mate, I know I know France have got Mbappe, but if you were, as all the players combined. France have got a very, very good team. They'd they're, they're be right out there as well. Great players don't mean great teamwork. I know that, not Bob, but England have actually done pretty well as, as playing as a team the last three... Well, no. Yeah, the last three tournaments. They've, they're, I'm not, they've not won any, but they've, they've got to... They've got to a final of the last Euros. They got to a semi-final of the World Cup. You know, they lost to the quarters last time, but they lost to France, who were who were decent, and they were. It was a very close game. You no, know? I think in England have gotten better at playing as a team. They're not a team of individuals. Unfortunately, I think they may well be a bit defensive, and they may well uh, they may well lose as a result. I don't know, but I think England have got a chance. At this stage, they've got as much of a chance as most of the other teams. You know. There's probably six or seven teams likely to win it, and England are one of them. It'd be great if they did. They probably won't, you know. Can't remember him tearing the world apart. He scored a hat-trick in the last World Cup final, dude. <laughs> Uh, he's played really well when it really matters. I, I think the trouble is it's hard to see much of Mbappe unless you're really watching the French League, you know. Would I go to an American football team football game when they play in England? No. It's just not the same, you know. If I was going to watch an American football team, I'd rather do it when I was on holiday in America, you know. If I happened to be in, uh, I don't know, New York when the Yankees were playing uh, in the f in the uh, AFC, then uh, I'd be right up for seeing that, you know. <laughs> uh, but in the meantime, no, probably not. Yeah, if the Yankees were playing the Red Sox in, in the AFC football. I, 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 seeing it in America would be much more interesting. Is it true that for some European countries the fine for the speeding ticket is effect, depends on how much you earn? One or two places, yeah. Who's going to win the NBA title this year? This year? The Cubs. The Chicago Cubs. Uh, why not go to one in London? Because it's just not the same, you know. Like, if you if you're a real fan of American football, then great, you know. I can see why you'd want to see the game in London. But if I was going to go to an American football team, I'd be much more interested in going to see it in America, you know. Like, I understand a little bit about the game, not getting it wrong on purpose. Uh, I tend to only watch the Super Bowl every year, but I do normally watch it. I kind of like the sport, it's okay, but I'd much rather watch it in America and enjoy it and enjoy the experience of how it's done in America, how the stadiums are, how the fans are, the food and the setting. It just would make it much more interesting, you know. If I'm going to go to London for a sporting event, I'd probably go to boxing or something or maybe football, like English football.
like watching Real Madrid play in America. That's kind of it, you know. Like, if you're if you've got if you live in I don't know wherever New York, and Barcelona are playing Real Madrid in New York, and you can watch those football teams play, then you might as well do it. It's great. I kind of get that, but it's not the same as I was watching them play in the San Siro or whatever, you know, or the Bernabeu. trying to eat the thingy. <sighs> Any fishermen to shoot today? Seems not. Actually, really surprised it ended up here. It wasn't my intention, but anyway, we did. If you come to the US for a football game, go to Seattle and watch the Seahawks play. Mm. When I was in New York, I had the opportunity to. Well, me and the missus were there for, I think, six nights, five days, something like that. I don't know, but five, well, six days, whatever it was. We were kind of like, she knows I like sport, and we were there for a while. So we uh, we had the choice between, because there was a game we could have watched for the, we could have watched the uh, Giants. So I could have watched the Giants play, or I could have watched uh, the baseball. And I, we went to watch the Yankees, mainly because... It just seemed like a more famous sporting team, you know, if you're going to... I kind of wanted to go to the Yankee Stadium and I wanted to see... Like, baseball's a bit different. I, I, un, I haven't seen so much of the sport. It just seemed like a cool thing to do, but... It was a really dull game, unfortunately. way and get away from the wolves. I did a like playing grey zone. It, it was kind of fun. I, I, I quite liked uh, I quite liked a lot of it. It's pre-alpha at the moment. It's really early so it's a bit early to judge but there's a nucleus of a good idea there but it's got a lot of work to come yet. You know. So I enjoy watching cricket. I, I used to, local hero, I used to like it. I used to play a little bit of cricket, but only like messing around in, uh, like for fun. Like I used to play with my cousins and whatnot. We used to play cricket all the time in our spare time. When I was about eight, we used to play cricket. Oh shit! I used to play cricket and not football. That cricket was the sport I played loads. Like I was pretty decent batsman, but only mucking around. I never played for a team. They we didn't have one. <laughs> But yeah, my, my two cousins both played cricket and one of them ended up playing for South Leicestershire, which is a fairly decent level, you know, as a bowler. Uh, I don't think I would have made it very far, but I was decent at batting at, at the age of eight. You know, I could do strokes and I could play pretty well. We moved, we moved here when I was ten. We moved to Suffolk when I was ten and my local school had no real interest in cricket. It was either football or rugby and that was it. So there was no cricket so I never got to play it anymore. Scooter, thank you for the 32 months. Why go on the open mountainside after making shots? Because I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere, dude. That's why. There's all. This is the way I know for the direction I want to go as well. So, the other side of this little ridge here, there's a there's one of those fire watch towers. Uh, and then where I need to go is this way. It's just this is the bit I know of the map. So I'm going the way I know.
any good channel of service with PvP and not too much mods. Uh, Karma Crew, Day One, uh, Zero, and potentially uh, Spaggy if you want no mods. Any goals for this stream? No, just getting geared, see where we end up. Am we actually going the right way? I'm starting. I thought the tower was up here. I'm sure we'll work it out. Scotty, never played much darts. I used to play pool, so pool was my one. Uh, like, eight ball pool. I used to play that loads. But darts I used to find boring. Watching it on the telly is great. If you get the chance to see the right kind of game, it can be really good. Like it's, or watching it live, I would imagine, was even better. But I, I, yeah, I've never been to a live darts match. But I, I quite like watching it on the telly. When it's more like uh, Premier League or... Oh, there's a helicopter crash site. When it's more like Premier League or lesser tournaments, I can't give a fuck. But when it's the big tournaments, if, if I've got the ability to watch it, I'll try and watch some. Especially, like, the latter stages. Anyone that's excited for the Olympics this summer? I am. Very much so. Uh, depends. I, the nice thing is it's in France, so it'll be on during the day. When you get a World Cup... Not World Cup. When you get an Olympics that's like, like when the Beijing was on, was one was on, for example, all of the sport was through the night. You missed all of the good stuff. At least at least with it being, being in Paris, it'll be on similar kind of time to here, so that you, we c I can watch it all, you know. And I'll be streaming, I guess, so I won't be able to watch it all, but I'll be able to tailor my streams to see certain things and whatnot. Uh, I'm not excited for the Olympics just yet. I think it was 100 days to go yesterday or the day before, but uh, in between there and now is the uh, the Euros, which is much more exciting right now. What do I think about Al Hillel? I, JOC, I, I, the only thing that I'm not... This is a stab, but I'm not guessing that this is the case. But I think most people in the Premier, the most people that are in the UK, football-wise, are only concerned about the the UAE teams in terms of them poaching their players. None of us give a shit about how the teams are doing, uh, mainly because it's not really that competitive a league at the moment. I I know that Steven Gerrard is kind of getting close to getting his team to the sixth spot, which for them is okay and whatnot, but. I don't, I don't like, I think Ronaldo plays for Al Nasser, is it? I've no idea how they do, I've no idea how he's doing, I don't care. I, I just, it, I, it's too, in the same way as I don't care about how, like, the MLS teams are doing and whatnot, you know. I, I guess I had a little bit of a read of how, uh, how Inter Miami were doing briefly, because Messi plays for them, and it was an interesting story, but... It's it's too far away and not competitive enough of a league. Like I've been keeping a little bit of an eye on the Bundesliga, for example, just to see how the results go, because it's an interesting story with Harry Kane moving and Xavi Alonso being in charge of the team that's going to win the Premier League. It just was interesting, but what happens in the UAE, it's... Yeah. Cheers, Dan. Take it easy. It also feels a little bit uh, crazy, the, the money that's being spent on, like, average players and, like, former players and stuff. It's crazy. Whoa, what is that? SBR. Does it take a mag? It needs a mag. Oh, look. Look at that, that's a, that's a nice, nice juicy bag, is that? Okay, I was thinking it had three shots, three slots for guns then, it doesn't, they're just bugged. Look at this bag, this is a beautiful bag, it's got all of the room. Didn't even hear the helicopter crash land, this is luck, isn't it? Blind luck.
M4. I know mag. Crazily good find, but I need a fucking mag, please, game. I think that's a lot. Sounds good. You don't know where the zombie is. There it is. Have I got any more 300 blackout rounds? I don't think I have. No, it doesn't look that way. Bag has a canteen slot. Ooh. The M4 has a mag, does it? Oh, so it does. It's got a little tiny, but it's got a little baby mag. Uh, my first M4 mag. It was such a small mag, I could barely notice it was there. Which is what a lot of ladies over the years, well, a handful of ladies, have said about my penis. Very similar story. Saying a lot makes me sound like a right player. I am not a right player. Not with my penis. <laughs> right. I think I'm going to drop the savage. Let's just leave it. I have a 300 BLK mag. Yeah, these are... Okay, yeah, good shout. They both have got them, yeah. Honey. How do you switch auto on a gun? Tap X. Is Dubai still flooded? I believe so. It was on the news this morning. Apparently they were talking on... The, like, uh, this is not... This is a rumour. It, it may well be a conspiracy theory. But they were talking about how it might potentially have been cloud seeding that caused all the rain because they never get rain there what would it be in the desert and all but it may or may not be that uh, but nonetheless it's a crazy thing to be seeing Oh, please tell me those bullets haven't gone on the ground. I had 300 blackout bullets. No, they didn't, thank God. I pressed and hold R and it didn't load. I kind of need a Wii. I might have to go for a piss in a minute. Okay, I think I'm going to go in a sec, actually. It may well be a conspiracy theory. I don't know. Does the mag not fit in the gun? No, they're blackout. The blackout mags have got a honey badger mags. These are... This is not a honey badger. It's an SBR 300, obviously. Maybe we'll get Zabby in a year or two. I hope we don't need to have to be getting Zabby in a year or two, to be honest, uh, Forza. Uh, I hope... <laughs> I hope that because he's chosen to stay, and I'm a bitter red, that next season, like in the close season, Leverkusen accept big offers on the two best players, and then he gets sacked midway through next season, and never manages at Real Madrid, and never manages Liverpool, and only ends up, I don't know, in some washed-up league somewhere. 
remembering that time he won the league with Bayer Leverkusen. That's what I hope happens, and I'm not bitter in the slightest. <laughs> uh, I don't really begrudge him that. I don't blame him for staying, to be fair, but... Uh, it's a shame that Liverpool aren't going to going to get Alonso, but we'll see. I, I think uh, it almost feels like it's the right time for a change now. Though, like I know I know Klopp is a legend. I, I'd like to see him stay, of course, but I don't know. They really do look out of ideas the last few weeks. They really they don't look capable of scoring anymore. It's weird. Liverpool, big rub. Sean, thank you for the support. Thank you very much for the subscribing in. Thank you. And McForster before that, thank you. Captain Treebeard, thank you as well. <coughs> I really have got to go for a piss. I don't think I can wait any longer. Ooh, that's a quick traveller. That's why I shot that shot. It's a quick travel, that one. It, it's not. It's not slow. I wasn't sure. I had no idea how it would be, but I was thinking it might have been a slow, slow traveller. How did Takistan end? Uh, death. I tried to blow a dude up with a uh, with a modded grenade that looked like a cuddly toy, and it knocked me unconscious and possibly another player and another player too. And one of them was a bit angry about that and shot us all. He, he was a bit angry. Is that SPR a sniper? Yeah, I think so. Short barrel rifle featured featuring a fixed stock integrated suppressor and a full length top rail for all NATO attachments. It, short to intimate range targets uh, with great effectiveness. So it's a it's a little bit like a VSS, but it fires 300 blackout, I would guess. So I think it's going to be more powerful, but it's kind of like a bolt action, fully suppressed rifle. It's not extreme range, I suppose, because it doesn't take the relevant scope for that. Jason Wilcox appointed to Man United as technical director. Hmm. Is he the is he the one that used to play for Blackburn? What was that? There was someone that used to play for Blackburn with a similar name. I don't think that's them. But anyway. Purple Rippler, I, I, I don't see what's wrong with saying it slow like a subsonic round. Like, being below the speed of sound isn't necessarily slow, depending, you know. If you could run subsonic, but close to it, you'd be doing alright, wouldn't you? <laughs> I think it's more of a descriptive term for Daisy anyway, right? Like, comparing the different guns in Daisy. No idea who he is. Mm. I wasn't expecting to see a church, I was expecting to see a military base. The military base is this way anyway. Or at least there is, I'm sure there's a military base this way somewhere. a bit way laid here. This is wrong. I think it's the other side. I, I think it's more that way. It is. I've gone the wrong way. I'm sure I have. Coming up this hill, there should be a military base near here, and I, don't, I can't... Ah, it's this way. This way. I think. No, it's fucking not. My word. Let's just run around in a big circle. Let, like, it's definitely this way. <laughs> I think. 
Yeah, this is the way. I really needed a wee, but I wanted to come and see if there was any dudes before I did. This gets visited a lot. I'd, I'd be surprised if there's not some players knocking around. I'm going to leave this on, on uh, semi-auto because 10 rounds is not many rounds, is it? No, I'm going to try and treat it like an SKS and fire sparingly if I can. But what I think I'm going to have to do is get in the tower, have a quick look for players, and then I'm going to have to log out and go for a piss because I am going to fucking piss my pantaloons if I don't. Read more. see any Zeds. I do see Zeds. Right. I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna go downstairs. It's gonna be fine. I'm just gonna log out here. It definitely won't get me killed. Oh god there's a fucking 57 second timer. So oh bollocks someone someone's got 53 seconds to come and kill me. Let's, let's hope they don't. Uh John Connolly, thank you for the sub once again. Right, I'm going to quickly fill my water bottle, have a piss, be back in a sec.
keep on running. Elter Skelter, thank you for the five months. Cheers for the reset. I got lost on the way to the toilet here. It's a long way. The one in this wing's closed at the moment. I had to get the elevator and everything. having a look to see if anybody's uh, turned up while I was gone. Seems not. Did I have to summon the royal, royal bottom wiper? No. a royal hoser downer give me a give me ass a good hosing that's what that's what it's a bit like a, a bit like having a b day only touch more personal <laughs> the ai thumbnail is hilarious yeah it was made for me by a by a viewer uh it's kind of cool to have like a like a a kind of apocalypsified Welsh Springer in, in it. It's kind of cool, I have to say. Ooh. Now I've got a mag for that. Got a mag for that. Which It's just choices. Choices everywhere. And not a full mag to shoot. Get rid of that shit. Three AKs in two buildings seems decent stream of loot. Well, this area is always pretty good for loot. If you if you if no one's been here for a little while, the loot's normally good. But every time I've been here normally, I tend to find a shitload of AKs and then mags for the only AK I don't have. So it's kind of cool that I've turned up with a mag for once. You know, I can actually shoot the fucking thing. I'm not sure I'm going to do Grey Zone today, Wretch. I, I don't think I'm going to fit it in, to be honest. I'm already nearly five hours into the stream. I, I'm not convinced I'm going to fit it in, but we shall see. I, I'm not making any promises. If I die now, I might switch for a couple of hours. Maybe. We'll see, though. It depends how this character goes. 
I had an email uh, from the community manager of Grey Zone. I, it's a known thing. A, a few people have been talking about it on Twitter, but my stream yesterday on YouTube got copyright struck because of the music in the game, <laughs> which is an incredibly depressing thing. You know, like it's 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 music that's in the game, and my entire stream's revenue is going to somebody else for yesterday because of that. Obviously, not things like super chat or memberships, but all of the advert revenue, which is the bulk of where my revenue comes from on YouTube, of course, is uh, is being allocated to someone else for one minute's worth of music. Just the music that plays in the in the lobby when I was setting the character. So they've copyright struck one minute of six and a half hours worth of stream yesterday, and for that one minute of copyright free, the music's copyright free, mind you, by the way, but they've. It's copyright free, but someone's claiming ownership of it by the look of it. But yeah, anyway, they are. Even if music's copyright free, sometimes you need to have a uh, certificate to say that you've been approved to use it as such. Getting closer, Joyto Cobalt. But uh, yeah, not, getting back to the, uh, the, the the point. Yeah, one minute of of six six hours and thirty odd minutes, and for that one minute, they believe that they entitled to all of my revenue for the entire stream. That seems fair. Vice, thank you very much for the support. Appreciate it. Cheers for coming in. Thank you for the resubscribing in. 98 months, dude. Thank you. Tier 2 as well. No mean feat. Thank you very much. Holy shit, look at this. All, all the things. An AK-101. I should be using that. I've got loads of bullets. Oh, I should be using it. Alright, I will be using it. Fuck me, there's mags everywhere today. A one. Is that a 101 or is it a 74? I'm just going to leave that there. I, I don't want that. So my plan is to still use the M4 and drop this. That's my plan, but for now I'm going to use it. I don't really know why I'm taking the AKM if I'm completely honest, but I've still got that too. Still here, still watching. There's no dog on the server. That's meant to be my dog, dude. It looks like my dog does. The man in the in the thumbnail doesn't look like me though. Uh, sleeper, thank you. Yeah, that that happens a lot. So I've got an answer from from Grey Zone about it. So hopefully it'll get it'll get removed. That happens more than you can realise. Uh, like. It's, it is an algorithm, but or it's software that's doing it. But the person that puts in the claim is not software. That's that's not. So someone, uh, it's uh, I forget the name of the company or the the person, but the claim itself is put in by somebody, and they don't ever check it. You know that that. But it, it's it's just like a scattergun of uh, bullshit. That's what they do. They they go round and, and they make all their claims and then some people don't contest them and then they get to keep the money, you know. Like, obviously sometimes there are legitimate copyright claims, but I've been doing YouTube for nearly 10 years, 10 years in July. I've not once ever used something that was uh, not I was not allowed to use, ever. And I've had so many copyright claims and I've managed to get them all turned down in the end because they were all bullshit. I've used some music that was copyrighted over the years, like I had, uh, I've used the odd bit of music, I used this, a bit of music from the soundtrack to Drive years ago, but I didn't put adverts on because I was using music that was not copyright free, so like, it's, it's frustrating, but YouTube's policy is, if they say it's copyrighted, we'll agree with them. That's YouTube's policy. <laughs> if, they, if they make a claim, we'll basically side with them unless you get lawyers involved. 
lots of 74s here. I, I could be going for that as well, but I think I'm going to stick with the 556. Five, Have a quick look here. Oh, a map. That's good. Cleaning kit. We've used ours a bit, so maybe not a bad thing. More 74 mags. Revelations. Oof. Thou shalt make copyright claims. I feel your pain regarding people's sense of entitlement. Apparently a 35-year relationship entitles my wife to my undivided attention when she's telling about her day. I told her it's an inverse chronological relationship, and after all this time, she's lucky I let her do my washing and she'd... <laughs> I should be grateful. Yeah, I'm sure she sees it that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure she does. By the way, I'm laughing at what he said. I, in no way do I agree with that statement. No, no, no. <laughs> you do your own fucking watch. <laughs> Cheers for the support, dude. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the bits. Yeah, I... I I think there might be a separation in your future, NT Pop. <laughs> if she heard that, there might be anyway. Purple, well, anything can go to court if you've got the money to make it happen, though, can't it? You know, you, anyone can try to sue, sue Ed Sheeran. Like, he, he won that, and rightly so, you know. But if you've got the money, you can take almost anything to court, you know. It, like, it just costs money, and then you lose out, you know. But... I, I agree with what you're saying, but anyone can make a claim and take it to court and then they lose if it's an outlandishly stupid claim, you know? A lot of people, I think, try to bully people with money into accepting things that they shouldn't accept because they can't afford not to, you know? That's quite common. <clears throat> Man, this is running smoothly today. It's so nice not to be having all those frame yips. It's so good. I, I, I it's, it's, it's actually massively improved my mood. Like, the way the game's been running has actually been getting me a little bit depressed. Like, not, not properly depressed. I'm not, I'm not trying to... Depressed is not even the right word. I'm, I've been getting a bit narked, I suppose, is more true. Uh, because my game has been running so poorly. Now it's running fucking great. This is where me and Joita got to the other day, and then we got sniped. From that building, I think. No, I think it was that building, but it was one of those anyway. It's one of those types. I don't really want to loot. I want to try and find players. I'm going to go and try and head to one of these tall apartments and see if I can find someone to shoot at. Joito was saying that there's always somebody camping the tallest new building. I want to see which one that is. thing I find weird, you can sing anyone else's song you want and even make money off it, but you can't have their song playing quietly in the background of a stream. Well, I think that's different. Like, if you're doing your own version of something, that's different, isn't it? You know, like, if you're going around pubs and clubs as a tribute act to Taylor Swift singing her songs, it's you singing her songs, you know? Like, you're still having to put effort in. That's different than if you're using those songs in the background of a stream that benefit the ambience of your stream with absolutely no effort from you, you know. I, there is a slight difference. I, I, I can I see what you're saying, though, but... Uh, Just wanted to tell you that I love your content. You are the reason I keep coming back to this game and have managed to spend 6k plus hours in the past three years. James, you can, you can do, uh, like, parodies and things, but if you do an exact one-for-one -one replica, you might not get all of the money, but... 
there are channels that make money on YouTube by doing like parody songs, you know, like where they're changing the worlds and making like a comedy song or a political song out of a real song or whatever, you know. You, but yeah, you, there are there are margins for sure. Adam, I'm live today because I missed Monday. My mum had a hospital appointment, so I ended up having to miss... It, her hospital appointment was quarter past two, and by the time we got back, it was really too late to stream, so I, I didn't, basically. I think that's the building that Joito meant. Well, uh, dog, uh, it dep no, I don't think, like, Taylor Swift is, for example, I don't know why I'm picking on Taylor Swift, by the way, but I don't think she's likely out there hounding the tribute acts, selling selling out small buildings with their versions of her songs. But if you became a tri tribute act that was uploading to YouTube or was trying to release them as chart music, then that's a whole other matter, isn't it, you know? Uh, I hope your mum's okay. Thank you. Yeah, she's got, uh, she's got gallstones, so she's... She's had tests and they've found out what it is and she had a meeting with the doctor on she's having her gallbladder removed so it's going to be a, a few months wait for it to happen but yeah that's what it is so actually going to help her loads when she has it done. Iblis I only really stream Daisy. I did stream uh, a Grey Zone Warfare yesterday. Occasionally I check out a game that interests me but I'm a Daisy bore yeah. I'm streaming on Twitch and YouTube, both at the same time. It is quite quiet today, actually. We've heard some distant shots, but not seeing anything close up at all. It's weird. There was 50-odd people in the server when I joined it, and it can only be higher pop now than it was then, I would have thought, so I'm surprised. Ever tried Subnautica? No, I don't really do well with single player type survival. It looks kind of fun, Subnautica, but uh, the last one of those I played was Raft. I'm not saying it's the same, but I tried Stranded Deep and Raft. Raft was kind of fun. I actually streamed Raft for one afternoon. That was kind of fun too, but I, uh, I, I don't do well with single player games. I get bored of them. The ombre that runs a lot. Like that, the Rolex ombre dial. <laughs> Are you pure of heart? Come to Faith's Gate if you long for your community. That's where I just was. Salvation. Come to Terminus. next subnautica will be co-op could be fun to play with sarah muller it could be second grade but i uh i actually i actually i'm, I'm not going to say what you think oh well, well hopefully i'm not but I, i'm not really i can't stand single player games or co-op games similarly i i was going to say i can't stand sarah muller just for a joke but that someone will clip it <laughs> no, i subnautica i know it's a good game but i i don't i don't want to play it it feels a bit too prescriptive with all that you do. It is a bit kind of open world-esque. I've, I've watched a few people stream it here and there, and I do get the fascination with it, but I like my missions to, to be a bit more random and a little bit more involving other people, you know. That's something that definitely felt like a, a fair... Not criticism so much, because it's too early, but an early observation is that PvP is not going to be a big enough part of... Uh, grey zone you know it might be great for some people but I don't know if it's for me <sighs> so I think there's a yeah the military base is just up ahead those shots kind of sounded like they're at the military base that red building there there's there's military both sides of it and those shots sounded pretty distant didn't they so I don't know where they might be at I played mist survival yeah I did have a go at mist I, that was kind of fun too for about 13 hours
I, I kind of got a little bit of so what now itis. I'd, I'd gone and done a few missions. I was building something, and then I was like, but what's the point? <laughs> Like, I'm never going to have to defend it against real world players and stuff. I I don't know. I'm just no good with those kind of things. To me, it feels like like games like Daisy or others, whichever one you like, is like playing a game with another player and much more interesting thereby as a result. Whereas playing games like Myst or others is a lot more like playing a, a single player game, like a regular single player game just on your own. Not the same. One's like playing cards with a buddy and shooting the shit, and the other one's like playing solitaire. I just can't be bothered. Mist was good, though. It was kind of fun. shots were actually this way or not, but I've got to have a look. I think they were further on. That sucks. Another one there, yep, there he is. Shit, there's three. So I, I did kill that one inside, but... I don't have enough stamina for this. Go, 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 go! Quick! Shit. That's frustrating. <laughs> oh no! That was behind! My shots were bang on! I, I didn't miss a fucking shot, really. <laughs> the other dude was only on con, but... My shots were fucking fire, but I, like there was two bastard many of them. <laughs> oh well, I I think I, I think I'm gonna do a little bit of BR. I don't think I'm gonna bother with. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna bother with Grey Zone. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the Vigrid servers are looking like. Well, the smoke made me think somebody else was behind, but I had to try and move because I was gonna get pinched otherwise. Right? It was the right choice, but. That dude came flying around, and I, I, I sorted him out double quick, you know, but... Yeah, shit happens. And that's Daisy, isn't it? All of that time. Are the Vigrid servers down, or am I... Oh, I'm spelling Vigrid wrong. Vigrid. I think I'm going to do a little bit of, bit of Battle Royale. It's it's Friday evening. I don't really want the, uh, the, uh, the mindfuck of trying to get back into the other game right now. Although it might be interesting to see how it runs, to be fair. I might do that in a bit, but... Uh, let me just get the Discord open. So I think that was a big group. There must have been about three or four. Like One was firing from the building opposite. Unless they just weren't together, but the one opposite must have been with them, really. Otherwise, why the hell would he not have... Uh, or they not have been shooting already? Uh, where are we? Server status. Solo modded, nowhere near. Now they've all just closed at 7.01. That's actually 19 minutes ago, nearly, so maybe they've not all just closed. There's a trio coming. Solo Vanilla's only got eight. I'll, I'll wait for Solo Vanilla, I think. Solo modded's only got eight as well, so it won't be too long. Yeah, cheers, Redline, dude. Tom, yeah, they might... He didn't shoot me, but you might be right. They might have been confusing who I was, yeah. Face. 
Lynn, thank you for the 33 months. Cheers for the support. Com, thank you as well. I think also they hadn't expected me to get that far. I think he was looking towards the tents, to be honest. Uh, make it sweet, thank you for the bits. Cartonetti, thank you for the prime. Daiki, Tenon, make it sweet. Thank you again. I just want to tell you that I love your content. You are the reason I keep coming back to this game and have managed to spend 6k plus hours in the past three years. GG, dude. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much indeed, dude. Thank you. Oh, shit. I've just lost my chat. Oh, hang on. I've lost my YouTube chat on the dock. Won't be a sec. This is so annoying. I'm trying to, I'm having to verify my Google uh, account uh, and it's not working on the app. Like, so I have, you have to open up your Google app and then type in the code. But when I get, I, I type in the code, it, sorry, when I go to the Google app, it's coming up 403 not found. So at the moment I've got no YouTube chat, so bear with me. Oh, I've got it to work. Oh, it's not a code. You just say, yes, it's you or something. There we go. What the fuck is that? Why is it doing that? Oh. Now it's playing the stream. <laughs> it's playing the stream in my chat doc. That's, that's kind of annoying. Docs, yeah. YouTube streaming uh, going pretty well. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to pop it out from elsewhere and just use that for now. Chrome, YouTube. It's not like we've got anything else we can be doing. I'm waiting for the for the battle royale server to come up, so uh, we're not missing out on anything right now. With get your. Pop out that. Leave it there. Kyle, thank you very much for the super chat, dude. Very, very kind. Thank you. Now oh, that's big. How do I make it less, less, less big? I don't know. All right, the chat's all kinds of fucked up now. Knock on the wall loudly. <laughs> yeah, that was really freaky. Right, down to six. Shouldn't be too long and then I can go in one. So it's kind of broken. I don't know what happened there. I, I actually clicked on that little heart. You know the little heart on the YouTube chat? I clicked on that and then it... It, it just completely messed it up. It was it went all wrong. Are you losing viewers playing Battle Royale? A little bit, Aaron. Yeah, my views are a little bit lower on Battle Royale, but I'm I actually don't get quite the same views on a Friday anyway because I don't normally stream Fridays to be honest. So I ain't, I ain't really worried, dude. Like I'm. I've done five hours of regular Daisy. I'll have a quick go on Battle Royale and then that'll be it for the day anyway, you know, so. But yeah, I, I get slightly fewer viewers. Uh, to be honest, my views are a little bit down the last few weeks as well. I, I don't think that's abnormal. I think other people may well be in the same boat, but 
it's this time of year you know daisy's not had a patch for many months it's not had a significant patch for quite a while you know things have ebbs and flows you know i i could be wrong but i, I feel like it's in a little bit of a that kind of way right now Right, how are we doing? It's down to five. We'll be in it fairly soon. When is the championship round happening? Well, the third of the six, Brandon, is on Sunday. So there'll be three more months of, of uh, qualifying rounds. So it'll be in four months' time, basically. So it, we're in April now. So you've, you've still got May, June, July. So in August will be the final. It's because of the long periods between rounds. Possibly, Beach. It's possibly that. That definitely is is part of it. I think it's also not quite as popular as well. I think, but I do think the the ebb and flow of it is partly it. I, I agree, but it's not as popular. You know, it, people don't want to see it as much as they want to see regular survival. But it is what it is. Yeah, grey zone will have a bit of a, a difference, but grey zone only came out today. You know, like. I have been doing more Battle Royale for the last few weeks, so overall that's probably impacted my views maybe about 20%, I'd say. If I stop doing Battle Royale and stick to, to survival, those 20% will probably trickle back, right? But I, I, I don't think you can manage the stream in that way, you know. If, if I've done five hours of that and I want to do a couple of Battle Royales to end the stream, I think it's better to do what you want to do, you know. And it is very addictive. Well, Connor, I can see. I, even just now, I've Keep lost on, on Twitch. I've lost about three hundred views since I since I, since I just died. You know, <laughs> like like that's that's like fifteen percent roughly, just in the time it's taken to to wait now. You know that, but that's how what happens. I, not everyone's here for the whole day. They might be here because I'm coming to somewhere exciting and then when I die they'll ship out to another stream where they might have a firefight, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with that, I, I've done that plenty of times over, when I used to watch a lot of streams in 2014 I might be watching Smack and enjoying watching him play, but if he died and then he spawned again and then, I don't know, uh, Lyric was somewhere with an M4, I might watch Lyric for an hour instead, you know, like, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, it's, it's kind of makes sense. Kyle, I haven't got a great deal of details, to be honest. I, I know a little bit about the itinerary, but uh, I, I don't really know exactly what we're doing. Uh, Micromate, thank you. Cheers for coming in. Appreciate it, dude. Mrs. Diamond, thank you for the 34 months. Uh, I'll do my best. Thank you. Ah, oh, it's fixed. I fixed the chat doc now, which is good. very good news I can go back to streaming like like it was the best thing about today for me though is the, the the improvement in the performance I'm looking forward to trying BR won't make me play any better necessarily but my game is so much smoother today uh, yeah micromake thank you mrs. diamond cheers for the resub thank you very much it was, it was kind of uh, frustrating to die but Maybe I shouldn't have plonked myself right in the middle in that red building, you know, but I managed to get there and there was like four players at least and I killed two, I think. I don't know if that one, I didn't really see if he went on Connor or if he died, but maybe killed one, maybe killed two. But uh, nonetheless, it was nice to get some action after a lot of waiting, but I wish, I wish I'd lived a bit longer, fucking hell. What have I been twiddling? Yeah, I, pro I probably am shooting myself in the foot, keep talking about it, head table. I changed the priority order of the streams on OBS, so I've set OBS up to be streaming to YouTube and using a plugin to Twitch, which, and it was the other way around yesterday. And uh, the way I'm doing it now, it, it still gives the same quality to both streams, but it's, it's much more uh, PC friendly. And I should have done it in the first place, but I was like rather eager to avoid it if I could. YouTube is much more, it's a much bigger file. I think the, I think the server's coming up. Uh, I think it's 
up, I'm going to join it. Yeah, YouTube is a much more... Uh, it's not up. What? Why am I... I thought it was up. What the fuck's going on there? I was keeping an eye on the wrong server, I think. I don't know. Ah, oh, there we go. That, that's the bit that was confusing me. Yeah, it should be coming up. It's there. So, uh, YouTube is less compressed. Well, YouTube wasn't really being compressed anyway, but it was being done with a plugin. So, the quality might be slightly better on YouTube because I've, I've upped the, the render settings ever so slightly. Not the bitrate or the resolution, but the, the way that OBS exports it is slightly better. So I'm using the plugin on you head to head to ball. Yeah, exactly that. I was to be honest, that's probably where all my problems were lying and I was trying to get around it, but what what made me skeptical was that I started streaming in early November and I had no issues whatsoever for several months. It was working perfectly well the whole time. So I didn't believe that it was the way I set it up, but now I've changed it the other way around. It's so much smoother. Like everything was all jumpy and horrible. It, it's been awful for a while. It, this is so much better. there's no value to like what well, I, I know what you're saying it's not quite the same gravitas but or there's not as much importance placed on the character but when you're in the top 10 fighting for a win there's just as much tension in the moment in that firefight as there is in any day z life i think it's a lot there's a lot less uh chat interaction and there's a lot less radio style content in battle royale because you had you, there's there's really only two phases potentially three but you're doing a shitload of looting where you can't read the chat and interact so much, and then hopefully you're doing a shitload of shooting where you can't read the chat and interact so much. But there's less time for interaction in the uh, in the battle royale when the game's actually on, of course, you know. But yeah, I, I, battle royale isn't as popular. People wanting to watch Daisy probably want to watch Daisy, but uh, I feel fairly comfortable that I've just done nearly five and a half hours of. Daisy, and now I'm doing a little bit about Royale to end, you know, and that's fine by me. Ave Maria. Ooh, careful, I might get myself another copyright. <laughs> Kevin. What? I don't want to be chased. Is it me or does that feel bigger in the top left? It looks bigger. I don't think it is. <laughs> Not long to go. Digital, and I'm not really that overly eager to do Deer Isle at the moment. Life milk. <laughs> do you not get a bit fed up of that? <laughs> Life milk. But do you not, though? This is. My tree? Excuse me? This is my tree. I think you'll find it's HB's tree. It's my tree now. I'm pretty sure it's HB's tree. What are you two doing? Shouldn't you be playing Grey Zone? I thought you were a Grey Zone streamer now. I played it yesterday. Yeah? I'm talking. What'd you think? Uh, I'm not playing it today. <laughs> High praise. No, no, it's it's first day. It's, it's, it's got something, but it's 
first day pre-alpha, you know, it, it's got some time to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think there will be a game there, maybe for sure. The graphics looked beautiful. It did look good, yeah, and I didn't even know on, Ep on Epic either. So who who are the other ones jumping in the tree? Is this the whole squad? They're your fanboys. But I think he's trying to ruin your headphones. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I think it's working. <sighs> smells like defeat. Oh, I wish I could it? fart in this one. It smells like defeat. <laughs> I really, I like the stream sniping comment right at the end. GG on you. Fuck me dead. <laughs> I don't exactly know what he said, but I think I don't care. It's all fine. Is that bombs? No, that was Amish said. Smells like defeat. <laughs> Do you old guys like defeat? Give me, give me something. There's probably somebody else here. Oh, please don't die to wish. That's all that I care about. I don't care if I do well. I just don't want to die to wish. That's all. God, this is so much smoother. Holy shit. That was wearing a military helmet for a minute. Skate helmet. Can I have a secondary, please? Oh, we could be in for a shitload of running by the look of it. I don't really want the bison, but I might take it in case we don't get anything better. even want those green shells. You can stick those green shells right up your ass, Daisy. Shotgun, there'll be more red shells in there. want it but I think we should take it yes now we're talking I've got a scope yet okay sent 4.7 kilometers holy shit it's gonna be a very runny round the grenade. Can I not see a grenade? There she blows. What the fuck? Need a few more mags for the M16 and then we're kind of set. That'll do. M16, couple of mags, we're laughing. 
Has wife milk died yet? I haven't seen if you've done one or not, but it would seem like an ideal opportunity for a uh, for a uh, gamble. <sighs> oh, someone's been here, I think. Think. Well, maybe not. Did I check this one? I can't even remember. I don't think so. <laughs> Sounds like a fucking angry swan. I think that might be my backup name for my pub when I retire, the angry swan. Maybe I'll have a chain, I'll have the angry swan and the hook and the hat. Fifteen hundred meters for the thing. We could go for that. We could definitely go for that. Right, bollocks to those. Thanks, Ads, for reminding me to subscribe. Chat, did you know you can sub and make Bezos pay for it? Alki one. Well, thank you very much for the support. Cheers for the Bezos bucks, dude. Appreciate it. Very, very kind. Thank you. Who lives longer? There we go. Who lives longer? Paul or Ish? My money's on Ish. Finally been able to catch your stream again. Are you still 38, Paul? Hi, Dej. How you doing? I, I am 38. I've got a birthday in July, but I'm 38 at the moment, dude. Yeah. Given my sleepy bunny. That sounds dodgy, doesn't it? Let's just go for the drop. I think the text is bigger. I feel like that's possibly a change in the update since I, I could be wrong, but the text looks bigger to me. Ish's name is Wife Milk. I think Ish is becoming like uh, why do heck? He's he's gradually changing from a streamer that says words. From what I gather now, all he does is go around saying wife milk. He's turning into Wadu. Raman, thank you for the support. Cheers for the follow, dude. Thank you. I should imagine that there's a lot of people going to be at this drop. I should stop standing still in the open looking at maps. Ah! Oh. Yes! Now that is a way to die quicker. Ish's chances of winning just went up. Or living longer, should I say. Just went up. Hasn't quite got the power to get up there. Uh, uh, go, go, go. You can do it. Go on. Come on, Paul the first. Have 250k of channel points for the web. Absolutely nothing. And I did nothing to earn. Jen, kiss those channel points goodbye, dude. Kiss those channel points goodbye.
I'm not even going to take the car. Oh, maybe I should. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. Fuck it. I'm going to leave the car. I think the car's not a good idea at the moment. I think that shot was at me. No idea where that shot came from, but I'm just going to go this way and pray. Thought it came from over there, but I don't know. I never get fouls. That's kind of cool. I'd like to try and work out a way to uh, to kind of drop the uh, the bag. The bag is kind of annoying, but dropping the press vest in exchange for the plate carrier probably makes that a bit trickier for now. I think I'm going to have to keep the bag. I'm just going to get into the heart of the forest somewhere, then we'll stop and I need to have a little fuck around with my inventory, I think. On semi-auto, that's how I use the foul food. I, the, the foul works much better for me personally on semi-auto. If I get like, if I'm like breaching a building in the very, very last circle or something, maybe I'll put it to full auto. But I think it's infinitely better on semi-auto. Use it like an SKS, you know, tapper, tapper, tapper. It's all about the tap. I could go I could go down but I think we'll just stay as we are for now I could maybe drop the savannah and just use the foul that would probably make sense Husky, thank you for the support, dude. Jenny, thank you again. Dej, thank you very much too. Could be somebody here. Got plenty of time. I was going to run up on the left and overwatch it from the from the hill. Sort of place that nobody goes to in the beginning. Very unlikely, anyway. But it's the sort of place somebody might go to if they haven't got a great deal of loot. The doors are closed. I quite like another 556 five, mag. I don't know if I might go down and have a look. Don't be trapped in there. The doors aren't all closed. I think I'm going to swerve it. I think the doors have been random on this round though, but nonetheless I'm still going to swerve it. just in the next circle. She's going to close in 23 seconds. I might as well start running. Get the feeling there's going to be a big run for the next zone as well. thought I heard somebody uh, unpacking mags or something for a sec, but apparently not. Well, I did overwatch briefly, Jordan, but that's my idea of overwatching. Overwatch for me means having a quick look and then fucking off. <laughs> I don't overwatch anywhere for more than about two minutes. Very, very rare, as you well know, you know. The desert buggy was a lot of fun. It was a little bit buggy, but it was it was crazily quick. 
That's the quickest off-road car I've ever driven in DayZ, I'd say. Which makes sense. It is a desert buggy, I guess, but... Please be wife milk. Sorry, I'm w I shouldn't really wish ill. Wish... Wish... Ish... Ill. But I just... I want to finish ahead of him, so I, I, he can finish second. <laughs> Ten seconds is a long time. Just ask the missus. God, this is a long way. I'm going to stay in these trees for now. I don't want to go across the open field. I think I'll stay in the trees. Holy hell, this is so smooth. Legend, thank you very much for the support. Husky Dad, thank you as well. So I'm not actually getting that much closer going this way. I'm kind of running around in a bit of an arc, but that's okay. I, th I think that's all right. Maybe it is. trees. We've got quite a lot of open areas there, but I, th I think we're doing the right thing so far. I could end up running into someone that's kind of coming along my diagonal, which is a bit of a worry, but... A lot of people shooting. I wish it was a deer, it's DMR and not a uh, not a foul. I know that's greedy and everything, but nonetheless, I wish it was more powerful. Single hit to a plate carrier to knock someone. Just had a remin reminisce about a firefighter had around that barn from that road there in 2014. Not had a firefight around there since then, but I just remembered a little bit about it and how the player went running off behind the barn and up this hill and I remembered a firefight from ten years ago. There aren't many games that you'd remember stuff about like that. Legend, thank you again. So 300 meters ain't no thing. We can we can easily get there. I'm going to have a lot of people driving in from the right though. So I think fairly soon. I think now we're going to go left. Yeah, we're going to go this way now. There's like an opening and then an island of trees in the opening. Ideally, I'd like to get to the island of trees, if, if the map is correct. That one. Still got plenty of time. I mean, maybe I'm getting a bit ahead, but I think it's okay. What's the best event you've been a part of and when is the next one? Uh, I think the best event I've been a part of is the Lights Out event. Both of them. They've been an epic. Because they're three-day events. The last one was not as good as the first. But that's purely because of the massive issues they had on the first day. It wasn't anyone's fault. They 
uh, it was just really hard for them to test with so many players. They couldn't test the servers and they couldn't cope, you know, but Lights Out is the best event I've been in. Three days, like real, I've never felt tension like I felt on the final day in both Lights Out. It's, it, they were really, really good. Really well put together. Lots and lots of effort by Serpy and crew. Uh, and to be honest, I have a degree of pride in the fact that I was in the Lights Out, you know? It's like, when they had the last Survivor Games in 2015, I, I never streamed. I had, my first ever stream was for a Survivor Games qualifier. That was the first time I streamed, and I streamed because of the Survivor Games, so... Uh, I didn't get any. Me and Rene, barely infected, went in and we uh, we didn't qualify. I died without ever finding a gun that could be fired, unfortunately. But to be like nine years, nearly ten years later, playing in Daisy Daisy's tenth anniversary event by invitation, it just feel it felt kind of cool, you know. It felt cool to be in it. I was proud to be in it. Surely. Fuck. I ain't got time for that. We gotta carry on. That's the one slight challenge between this and the DMR. I can't stay there because I've just made too much noise, obviously. to the right were close. I'll leave them to fight out. I'm going to try and get across here. That's an SSG. I'm less worried about that. the right choice to back Wife milk just got a kill. No meta from me here. I like it's not meta, but the way that dude was duking side to side did make me wonder if it was ish to be honest, but don't you don't need to tell me. I'm not looking at the chat and don't tell me if you do know. I'm not asking. Please don't. But nonetheless. Uh it did occur to me, but maybe it was. It probably wasn't, but anyway, let's just keep running for now. Uh, Extramental Legend, thank you very much. I'm going to keep running. We know there's a shitload of people to the right. And we know they've all got to come this way, so I think we, we just book it for now. They've got a lot further to travel than I have. I think we just keep going. We're about to get some open area shittery coming up as well. It's going to get harder. Is this going to be ending on Comer Rover? That's up ahead. Not too far ahead either.
kind of want to go past where those shots were, which is going to be a gamble, but I can't stay on this edge. There's about six people behind me, I've got, and I'm in front of all of those, right? So I'm trying to avoid getting pinched, but it's going to be tricky. Tricky is the word of Battle Royale, everybody knows it. Here's hoping that the player that I tagged gets injured and slowed and, and doesn't make it as a result. At least I'll uh, claim some kind of vague assist. They're probably already back to full health. No thanks. See you later. Was uh, not the best grenade inning, really, but this bag is annoying me. See him. There's too many people left for how quickly I'm running around at the moment. <laughs> ah! I wonder if they followed me the whole time. Please tell me it wasn't wife milk for fuck's sake. Damn it. Na Nachos. Nachos. Nachos, his name was. I was shooting at Ish, was I? I'm not surprised. I, I, that was really, really kind of awkward. I, I, I think I pushed too far after going through the circle, but because there were so many people behind, I kind of just kept running like a headless chicken, and I probably should have stopped. I, I haven't played Battle Royale much, I guess, the last couple of days, you know. I may have, We played a few yesterday morning, I suppose, but I, uh, my tactics were all kinds of wrong there. I just kept running like a fucking knob. Uh, I, I think I hit him as I died, Mo. I quite like the M16 Iron Sights, to be honest, but uh, I didn't do great. There's so many people left in it, though. I've got fucking ages to wait. See if there's anything else coming up. Uh, where is, the, I've closed, oh, I haven't closed the Discord, it's there. Server status, 9 is open, but nobody joins that, I don't think. Uh, Jake, I, I don't think it, I, I think it depends how unlucky you are on the circle, so sometimes there is a lot of running, but there's a lot of vehicles and there's a lot of other things, but... Chernarus is a big map, but the rounds only take about 40 minutes, which is not much different than how long a round of PUBG used to take, you know? Like, uh, I don't think it was made much different. I wish I had the foul in my hand for that shot against that dude. It might have been a different story. Uh, Redline, thank you for gifting Fat Astronaut the sub. Uh, Extra Mental, thank you for the 24 months. 25 left. Hmm. Uh, do you know what? Fuck it. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this opportunity to to call it and and raid ish. I'm gonna do that. So it's I've been on six hours. I'm gonna have to wait twenty minutes for the next round. I think I'm just gonna raid ish and call it for the day. Uh, so go and check out Amish Zed. See how he gets on in the next round on Twitch. If you're on YouTube, find Amish Zed. Uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Amish Zed. You'll find him there. 
Uh, I'm raiding ish now. Uh, I can't do it how I used to, so when I do a raid now, I'm going to have to talk about it on YouTube as well, which might make the, raid, the raids even more infrequent, because when I stop the stream, it stops Twitch no matter what. <laughs> so, guys, go and check out Ish. I'm going to raid him now. Uh, and there's the link from Pinkster as well. He's in that round. We were just chatting to him at the beginning of the round. Uh, I will be back on Sunday. All being well, I'll be in the PvP event, which I'm looking forward to, the the 30-player one, like the one I from last weekend's YouTube video. Thanks for coming in, guys. Really appreciate it. There's many streamers you can watch. Thank you for choosing to watch me. I'll catch you again on Sunday. Take it easy, guys. Have a good one. Love you. Bye.